Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. It's time for Bannerlord. And uh, we shall be starting today with a new campaign, The Rise of the Khan. We shall be uh, playing a proper campaign of the game. Uh, I've got quite a few mods installed. Well, quite a few. I've got a couple mods installed. Um, I don't know. Haven't, I've, I've seen a couple good ones like community patch, stuff like that, fixing some things around. Uh, cultural start, for example. Um, I hope that it works the way that I think it does, where I can just skip that stupid Nezarek folly quest. Uh, we'll see. So anyway, uh, what we will be doing is we will play as the Kuzite, uh, who are a the Kuzite confederation of steppe tribes used to live a nomadic life, but have recently settled in the eastern frontier of the empire and are slowly transitioning into an agrarian society with permanent town centers. Despite this, they still retain many aspects of their nomadic life, including their affinity with horses. Yep, they are all a bunch of horse lovers. They are masters of mounted archery, shooting, and then galloping out of reach. They get a 10% extra speed bonus for horsemen on campaign map. That's quite nice. I really hope that it's going to start me here. Uh, we are, of course, because of this, uh, going to look like them as well. Um, I think I'm still gonna go... Actually, am I gonna go with my... To ladders. I do really like the dark, super deep voice. We're gonna make him like not fully uh, huge, but we're gonna make him like about like this, like a little bit average. Uh, let's see. Let's let's get like a. <sighs> I mean, we're not gonna see a lot of our guy's face, are we? We'll be fine, I guess. Uh, can I actually change the eye color? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm gonna make him like this. And then hair. So normally, I always had this as like my bandit lord hair. But he's not gonna be a bandit lord, is he? He's gonna be like... a proper dude. So we might actually give him... kind of like a bit of a more regal look, maybe? Kind of like this. I like that. And, uh... Let's see... That's actually a pretty cool beard. Or maybe this one, actually. That is a massive beard. Proper mustache, man. I mean, to be fair, a mighty mustache. Alright, he's gonna have a mighty mustache. You told me to say hi. Hello, Veles. How's it going? I did tell you to say hi. All right, we have a mighty mustache man. Choose your quest start options. Here we go. So uh, we are going to do the Neretz's Folly skip, which means that we're skipping that stupid quest where we have to talk to all of those dudes and have to travel around the whole fucking kingdom just to get, like, something, the ability to start our own kingdom at some point. So we're going to skip that. Lick. Cool, here we go. So, um, you were born into a family of... So, I want to make the Klai Khan. That's also going to be his name, by the way. Klai Khan, which I think is just... I mean, my my word jokes are... My, my name jokes are on another level. Um, so, we're going to be about, like, riding and bow. Like, here, bow and riding. That is, like, perfect. So, they were tribes people. As a child, we were noted for... Our skill with horses. We were very good with horses. We hunted small game, which makes our bow better. We rode with the scouts, which also gives us riding and bow. Very fine. You can see that we're very much uh, specializing here. Have you played a girl character? I have not played a girl character. Um, you treated people well. You hunted a dangerous animal. That gives us bow and some renown. Uh, which we will do. Who are you in cover? So this is also really interesting. So we actually get to choose who we're going to be. We can be like a commoner. We can be a caravaner. A noble of the Kuzite in exile. Uh, that's apparently going to make it. If we go back to Kuzite, we will be viewed as a criminal, which we don't really want to do. I was thinking about the failing mercenary company. Uh, with men deserting over lack of wages, your company leader was found. Your company leader was found? 
oh, was found dead, I guess. And you decided to take your chance and, and lead. So um, you actually get like renown and so on. And you have a couple of people. We can also be a looter. Left impoverished from war, you found a group of like-minded ruffians who are desperate to get by. It's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, we can actually just start as a young noble immediately who has like land. Uh, with the support of companions, you've gathered an army with limited funds and food. You decide it's time for action. You can just become a clan. We can just start with a castle from there. I, I don't like that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to be a failing mercenary company. That kind of reminds me a little bit. Uh, I was a bit disappointed Bannerlord didn't have the you are going to medieval times so the game is harder now option. There's a mod for that if you want that. But they specifically didn't want that. Um, because they wanted people to just in, in, enjoy the game no matter uh, what to play. Uh, what they're playing like. So we're going to be a failing mercenary company, which is going to be an interesting start, I think. So during your journeys, you were ambushed by raiders. Uh, we drove the raider off with arrows. Or we rode off on a fast horse. I could do that too. That gives me even more uh, riding and some more scouting and another point in... and another point in uh, thingy. So I think we... Ro we Well, we're going to focus on the bow. So we drove them off with arrows. Let's go. This is where we begin our new adventure, so this is quite nice. So we can start uh, near your home in the city where your journey begin began. In a strange new city, so that's perfectly random. In a caravan, in a caravan. So we can just be start in a caravan to the Kuzite city of Autengard, which means we actually start in Kuzite. And I think that's what we're going to do. I believe this is just the default start. And then we're going to start in Kuzite. And like I said, our name will be Klykhan. 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 Does, does that not... Oh, I can't put a... Oh, okay. Well, then we're going to be Klykhan like this. Okay. Klykhan. Wait, did I mess up? I should check something real quick. One second. Did I mess it up? No, I didn't mess it up. Okay, I'm all, all good. All good. Okay. Klykhan. Here we go. Uh, and we're going to be playing this on basically everything realistic, except maybe our player? Nah, we'll be fine. We, we're going to play this on full realistic. Because why not? Let's fucking die. Let's go. Everything realistic. Map movement speed, same thing. Normal AI difficulty, I think that's alright. And we're going to enable death. Am I going to do this, though? I do have that one mod installed. I don't know, like, player receives... Hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna keep it on realistic. If it ends up being not fun, I can always turn it down. Select your fam- Ah, right. Okay, so... All of the quests are literally just being finished. This is what happens here. You found the first banner piece, so it literally just goes like blah blah blah. You did the whole first thing. Um, so we can select the name for our uh, clan now. So this is actually a good question. Um, what what was I thinking? Let's see. The Hog Horde could be something. Horde of Hogs? Maybe something like that? The Hog Horde. The Hog Goliaths. The Ho Hog Goliaths? The game is okay fun. Looter stone is rather annoying. Uh, I have a mod installed that um, makes it so that you don't get stunlocked like that. So that should be all good. Hog the Hoggolians? I kind of like that. Hoggolians. Like this? Clan of Hoggolians? Let's go with it. Alright, we can make our banner. So obviously since we're the Hoggolians, we need to... Get this pig in here. Uh, we're gonna, let's see. We're gonna have a golden pig on a blue banner. Tiny golden pig. <laughs> it's a tiny pig. Anyway, we're gonna have a big golden pig. Here we go. All right, so this is where we are. Uh, I believe that we do have quests here. So we do need to rebuild the whole clan thing. Find and meet Istania to learn more about Reds' banner. She's an Ip Epicrotea. Find and meet Arzagos to learn more about Naretz's banner. He is currently in Marunav. So we're on these quests. I believe they're never going to run out. So we can actually just do this whenever we want. So I'm just gonna like uh, get rid of that real quick. 
So I think we actually need to go here and Epicurtea is over here, so we'd have to travel there to fix that. It's like we can we can do that at some point. Anyway, um we do start a clan tier one. Uh which is interesting. I think that's might be because of the clan thing. I'm not sure. I've also made it so that instead of getting an attribute point every four levels, I get an attribute point every three levels. There's also some bow perk fixes, and I've got community patches installed and all kinds of shit. So there's a couple of things that are very different from the vanilla game. But as we all know, the vanilla game is kind of shite right now. Like in a lot of things that just don't work that well. We're going to put the two focus points into riding. 6% horse hit points. And then we're going to get accuracy with bows increased. Hold aim longer increases readying speed. Uh, I want to be able to shoot faster. So we're definitely going to do that. And then with tactics, cavalry attack cause 10% more morale loss. That's also kind of nice. And then we've got that. Inventory wise. It gave us a spear, a sword, a tribal shield, some decent armor and so on. That's pretty alright. We've got a tiny bit of grain. Really shitty morale because of the recent events. This is with the whole thing. Um, we don't have a lot of money. Oh, sorry, uh, I actually want to go to party. And these are the people that we have. So the Kuzite Nomads, Spearman, Kuzite Rider, a single Kuzite Archer who's a tier 4. Who costs us 8 gold. So he actually costs the most money, like a single archer. We can have 45 people, so that's an interesting start that we have here. Now then, we are in Autongrad, and we need to get some food. Is there an fight, arena fight? No, there is not. That would have been kind of nice. There's Ulm the Lucky, who seems pretty cool. Anyway, uh, we don't have the money to recruit anybody. Uh, so we're going to be like doing regular recruitment and so on again, but what we need now is money. We need money, uh, sorry, we need food, and then we need to need make enough money so that we can get... I love that butter is, is cheaper than grain here. My guys are just going to buy eat butter. So how many days is this? Three days. This is one per day. So let's see. I need to be able to keep my guys... Kinda shite, but okay. I need to be able to feed my guys for at least a little bit. So we're gonna do this. It's gonna allow us to give like one day to pay everybody, and I'll also have a couple of days of food. Uh and now let's see, this guy actually has an army of poachers. We are not gonna be able to get little. Can you list some things you find lacking in vanilla? Interest I agree to some degree. Uh combat system is busted. In, in almost every sh way, shape, or form. Armor means nothing against uh, ranged uh, and so on. Uh, you get stun locked by everything. A looter can throw a stone at uh, you in the best armor in the game. You take one damage and your attack gets immediately interrupted. Uh, that is ridiculous. Um, the uh, a lot of the uh, units are still broken in the game, like with useless uh, skills or skill levels, like where a unit that uses a crossbow is better at using a bow than using the crossbow that it's actually outfitted with. Um, some of the AI stuff, I guess. Um, I hate how you can only ha hit one person with like you have like a, a giant axe or a giant sword and you like cleave and there are three people in front of you and it'll just hit the person to the right and the other two will just keep hitting you uh that's also with the stun lock uh fighting like more than two or three like two people maybe it's you are just stun locked at all points uh and you can't stun lock them they don't care um there's a lot of stuff with the politics system and so on with the vassal system is a little shit um the garrison system is is obviously completely stupid. Um, the way that your parties roam around and have to like do stuff, you can't really give them proper orders. It's it, there's a lot of stuff, but it's 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 fine. It's not not something we have to talk about. This is a game in super early access that is going to look very different in like two months than it is to now. And it's also a game that is literally fueled by mods. Anyway, what we have to try is. Okay, those are step bandits. I, by the way, do I have cavalry? I have three. Okay, we're not going to be fighting those step bandits. We have to find some looters. 
And we have to find some looters or something quick. Or maybe a quest. That's actually, I forgot to install that, um, the mod that shows me if there's a quest somewhere. Oh, there's looters. Okay, come here, come here, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, I can also, I've made like a quick thing. Um, I've got a mod installed that like gets rid of this whole like, you you talk to them and tell them you're going to kill them and then you can kill them thing. I see this correctly. Everyone. This also like pulls out the camera a little bit. Archers, everyone! Mounted archer, soldier, attack! Mounted archer, charge! All right, this should also give me a tiny bit of um, morale killing these looters. Nice. Clyde can't get five skill points in polearm and is now five. I, that's actually hilarious, so we're really good at using a bow, but we don't have a bow. Because uh, that's like the way that we start. Which I think is pretty hilarious. Um, am I going to take this prisoner? Yeah, I need money. I need money. Okay. Uh, we get butter, which is nice. So now we're just going to... Oh, there's more looters. Okay. Uh, sometimes the game might stutter maybe a little bit because of some mods that are loading in for the first time or so. I don't know. I normally don't have that. Cool. We're gonna attack. Archers, move! Archer in the back. Soldiers! Horse archer, move! I'm gonna bring the horse archers over there. They can basically just, I don't know, shoot a little bit. Okay. And now we just kind of charge in. Take them out as best as we can. I was gonna install a mod that makes horse charges stronger. I need to see if I really will do that or not. Another thing this mod does, which is I, I think is um, quite nice, is uh, it's one of the, uh, the the fighting overhaul one, is that when you block, you successfully block, what is this? Oh, it needs horse to go to tribal warrior. Okay, we eventually need to get some horses because I want to play a very cavalry heavy uh, party. So these guys actually would level up to Kuzai footmen, uh, but I, I want to get like a cavalry heavy thing, so... Uh, what I was going to say is another thing this mod, the mod does, or is supposed to do, is that um, you can, uh, if you block an attack properly, then you get a tiny little bit of hyper armor for it. I'm actually getting, look at that, I'm actually getting like some proper morale here. So you get a tiny bit of hyper armor. For people who don't know what hyper armor is, um, that is hyper armor. No, hyper armor is um, a fighting game term where if you, uh, while you have hyper armor, you cannot be staggered. So that is an interesting little thing. So if you, I like properly block something, I get a little bit of hyper armor, like a, like a tiny bit less than a second, uh, which means that I can use that to counter attack and it won't be immediately like, you know, pushed out of the counter attack. Oh yeah. I killed the looter. Yes! Well, I'm definitely turning this mercenary band around quickly. Horse Archer Cheese Mode. I don't know. I don't want to do Horse Archer Cheese Mode, but I haven't played Horse Archer in this game yet. Uh, so this looter could actually join us, but we need disciplinarian perk for that, and I don't want that. We're gonna sell them. Because they're kind of terrible. Uh, I actually have a another interesting mod that I believe is this, which immediately shows me, I believe, when something is better than what I have equipped, and it can automatically equip it. 
So I can just like press a button and I get the best armor equipped and so on. Which is quite nice. Alright, we don't really have to worry about morale right now. Our money is decent too. Oh, this guy has a quest. Or two of Esme wants his daughter found. That is actually a really good quest to take. Especially if you're like a little persuasive, which of course we aren't at all. My name is Klaikan, may I ask a service? I am Bortu, I own land, I speak for many of the people in this village. I've suffered a great misfortune. My daughter, a headstrong girl, has been bewitched by this never-do-well. I told her to stop seeing him, but she wouldn't listen. Now she's missing. I'm sure she's been abducted by him. I'm offering a bounty of 620 dinar to anyone who brings her back. Please, sir, don't let a father's heart be broken. I'm waiting for a Vermintide mod for... <laughs> yeah, that could be fun, actually. Everything is wrong, he's from a low family, etc, etc. Don't worry, either I or one of my companions should be able to find her. Alright, uh, we will try to find her. I'm still worried about my girl, Devon the Swift. Please find her and bring her back to me. Alright, so... Uh, there it is, so... You have agreed to search for and bring her back to Esme. If you cannot find their tracks when you exit the settlement, you should visit the nearby villages of Esme. I just realized the thing. Um, so we're gonna leave the village. Can we find her tracks? Uh, apparently we can, or... In order to find her, you have to decide to visit nearby villages. Okay. So, um, I have tactics, but I'm not good at scouting. I don't have, like, Stuart. I have a bit of medicine. So we're actually gonna turn ourselves into the surgeon of the clan. Cool. Uh, Alright, let's visit the surrounding villages. But before we do that, let's quickly go into town, sell all the stupid stuff that we have, get a bit more food, because we're actually only down for three days. Also, ransom the prisoners. Are we changing to SnowRunner or another game later on? Um, Possibly. Possibly. We'll have to see how uh, long this goes and, you know, how long... How long I enjoy this. Alright. Um, so here's... We definitely want to get some horses. For our upgradable men. So we can turn the... We have three people that can be upgraded. So we're gonna go... One, two, three. Bit expensive? Actually a little expensive? Actually, quite a bit expensive? Might not do that yet, we'll see. Anyway, um... Let's buy some grain. So now we have enough for eight days, I think that's okay. And then... Like this, I have three days, so that should be fine. And we're gonna buy two horses, so I can upgrade these two guys. There we go. And now we have Kuzite Tribal Warriors. There we go. Everyone sorted by tier. Oh, cool. Arena? Oh, there's a tournament. Okay. Well, before we search for the daughter, we're taking part in the, part in the tournament. Kuzite Spear Infantry. Alright, Klaikan. Oh, nice. Horse Archer. Whoa, that was a headshot on the horse there. That actually hit him. That, I believe, was my own horse. Or rather, the uh, friendly horse. This is where I noticed that horse archer is not actually as easy as I thought. Oh. I, I killed his horse, I guess. See if I can kill this guy's horse. Shouldn't I be really good at archery? Nah, it's just the focus points that I have. I'm actually bad at archery. Oh, okay. I'll take it. That was 80 damage to that guy. He does have a long pointy stick. Let's hope that my flying pointy sticks are better than his... Uh... Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we took the we took the range guy out, so now we have the horse. 
Poor horsey. Oh. Okay, and that hit me too. Yep, and I'm just down. Okay, great. That worked out amazing. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I don't know. I think the game is not super exciting whether you play it or watch it, I guess. Because um, it's a very samey game. Uh, but I can definitely see where you're coming from, man. Uh, one person is wounded? Who's wounded? Oh, one of the spearmen is wounded. Okay, okay. Alright, anyway, we're looking for the daughter now. That was sad what happened there. We we'll ask around the village if anyone saw a villager say they saw a young man and woman ride in early in the morning. They bought some supplies and trotted off to Ma Ward Mi Wanjun. Mi Wanjun. Alright. Uh, let's. Yeah, I mean, he had like the perfect weapon to counter me there, right? Okay, let's search the village. So. There, there yeah. they are. I'm just, I'm just pulling my weapon just in case. Scabby? Scabby Targa? Targai? That's an amazing name. Hello. I get off of the horse. I'm just here to talk. Don't worry about my big armor and stuff. Who are you? Are you one of the bounty hunters sent by Bortu of Esme to track us? Like we're animals or something? Look, friend, we've done nothing wrong. As you may figure it out already, the woman and I, we love each other. I didn't force her to do anything. He's right. I ran away with him willingly. I love my father, but he can be such a tyrant. Please, sir, if you believe in freedom and love, please leave us be. Uh, how do I know he's not forcing you to say that? Well, like I said, Beetle, that's what mods are there for, so. It's, uh, dudes with stones cannot kill you in the best armor, by the way. They can stagger you, but they cannot kill you. They, the stones do, like, a damage or something, like one, maybe. Uh, please, sir, I love him truly, and I wish to spend the rest of my life with him. I beg of you, please don't stand in our way. But I promise to find you and return you to your father. He would be devastated. Well, yes, he would probably be sad, but not because of what you think. See, Bortu of Esme promised me to one of his ally's sons, and this will devastate his plans. That is true. He cares nothing about me, only about his reputation in our district. Alright, so... I can try to charm Mercy here, which is a decent success. So that's good, and the next success we can do is 39% for a critical success. And we did it! Critical success. Cool, so we actually... Ah, yes, you're totally right. Yeah, you, you're so good at persuading. You're right, I cannot do this. I will return to my family. By the way, did you notice how she's the one with the sword? Like, and the proper armor and everything? And this guy has, like, nothing? You're right. Maybe we need to persuade Bortu of Esme. I'm sure you can solve it. Alright. So they're actually... Returning to the man. And so now we can return to him. West complete. Oh, did I get the mo Oh, I just get the money. I don't actually need to return to him. Okay. That's great. So, let's go into town. Uh, we're gonna buy... One more horsey. This is actually a better horse than what I currently have. So, I wait. That Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna buy the better horse. I'm gonna use the better horse. Oh, I see. Okay, no. Okay, I understand now how this works. Okay. Uh, desert horse. I'm going to use the desert horse, and I'm going to use the step horse to upgrade my guy. Uh, there you go. So now we've got three Kuzai tribal warriors. Three. So we're, we're building cavalry here, which is fine. The caravan missions are probably the best early mission to make money. Yeah, they're really, really good. I like these daughter missions, though, because they're... Um, Pretty easy. Artisans can't sell their products. I don't care. Army of poachers. Probably going to kill me if I go for that. 
All right, we have a decent amount of money that we can live on. We have food for eight days. Our morale is still kind of shite, but it's slowly but surely going up. So what would be really nice is for me to actually get a bow. Uh, which would cost me almost my entire money. Which would actually cost me my entire money, so... I don't know, maybe we can find some enemies that have bows or so on. Let's check some of the villages and see if they have extortion by deserters at Amrotok. Okay. I must say I like how they reworked the RPG system with skills and so on. Yeah, they, they really did that. I really enjoyed that. I am Sazal. I lived all my life here, working the land, as do my kin. A lot of the people here in Omrotok, the common farmers and craftsmen like me, they like me to speak for them. Alright. If you know how to fight, yes, we could use help. A group of deserters is camped out near here. They come every few weeks demanding food and money. They've killed two villagers who resisted them. We asked our lord, Kainujan, for help, but his men never get here in time. Here's the plan. We lay an ambush in the village. When they show up, we spring. If you join us, I think we've got a good chance of ridding ourselves of this scourge before they murder us one by one. Alright, let's go. Thank you. Just wait in the village. We'll stand lookout and lure them into your ambush. Just wait for the signal. Alright. Well, that sounds kind of kind of good. I think this is something we can pull off. So, I just wait. There comes the deserter party. We have arrived at Omtak to... You have arrived at Omrotok to raid it? Okay, I'm not sure about that, but alright. Deserter's party, Klykan's party, trying to get away. I can converse with them, but no, we will attack them. Suddenly it goes, no, you've actually attacked the village, fuck you. Okay, uh... Bowman, move! Everyone, horse archers! Where are my horse archers? Forward! Infantry attack! Where's my horse archers? I don't know where my horse archers are. Oh, that was close. There's my horse archers, okay. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm in a bad spot here. Let's go around here, see if I can take out their bowman. Oh, there's one of them. The other one. Ah, ah fuck. Uh, run my horsey. Horsey has very low health. Oh, that's uh, friendlies. Yeah, this this guy needs to go down. Oh, nice. Nice. I got him. Oh, <sighs> man jumps out from behind the tree trying to till kill me. Okay, I think that might be the last guy, actually. There's a, there's a big man. Yes! Got him. That was like a proper infantry man. But we took him out. Did you find a coaching lance? I have not. I like the skill system in Warband more, but I'm willing to keep an elf. Warband had a skill system? I, I don't even know. Didn't. I mean, I guess Warband. Didn't Warband just have the exact same thing where it was like your number increased in thing? I kind of feel that. That, that was how it was, but I, I don't remember. I mean, Warband is so old and has gone through so many iterations and has so many mods. It's uh, it's kind of nuts. We lost a lot of men, by the way. Like, we lost a lot of people just now. I'm glad that we got these prisoners because we're going to keep them with us and try to make them join us because they're tier 4. Oh, wow. We, we got some good stuff, actually, here. Nothing's that, nothing is uh, better, than what we, uh, better than what we had, but... There's some horses. Actually, the exact same. No, this is a cracked one. Okay. Nice. So I take it that the return to. Oh, I actually have to talk to him. Okay. Hey, buddy, we did it. 
Here's what we promised, 900 dinars. It's more nuanced than that. I can't explain the difference in shares without spending the next hour, right? It's, it, there's no way that it's more nuanced, but I'll take your word for it. Um, thanks, this will come in handy. That it will. Clyka's party is gained to renown. Nice, so these people are very happy about us now. Maybe I can buy some cheap, like, food here? Like grain? No, this is not cheap. There's hardwood, I guess. Uh... Let's go. Okay, we definitely need people. We have a lot of money now, so we don't actually need to worry about things. We're not gonna be ransoming the prisoners, like I said. Uh, we do need to recruit troops. So, Ray. Thick studded lever coat. We're gonna sell all that. That's gonna give us even more money. Uh, the Sumta horses I'll keep because that's gonna make us faster. Sumter horses do make us faster, right? No, Sumter horses do not make us faster. Saddle horses would make us faster. Yeah. Uh, done. Do I have one to... Yeah, I have another guy to upgrade. So we're gonna buy another step horse real quick. And we're gonna give him an upgrade. Go. Oh. Those poor nomads. All right, uh, so we've recruited, we, we might have to go around to the villages and recruit a lot more people, because like I said, we have proper, we have the proper monies now. Um, now I can buy myself a bow. Not a long bow, because you can't use a long bow on a horse, sadly. Uh, I might get rid of the shield? No, I'm going to keep that for long. And then we're gonna get uh, tournament arrows. Um, we're gonna get barbed arrows. Barbed arrows are 20, 27. Mm. I'm too bad still with a bow, so I might as well have more arrows instead of better arrows. Should I keep the spear? Or should I go for a sword so that if I get like thrown off of my horse, I can properly fight? I think I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the sword and we're gonna get rid of the spear. And then let's get ourselves some more food here. Let's see. We're gonna buy like so we have ten grain. That's ten grain is kinda like the base food. If you want a coaching spear, I think you could get it most easy. I don't want a coaching spear though, like it's fine. Alright, we're gonna get some Butter. We're gonna get some meat for everybody. And we're also gonna get some fish. So that will gives us an, an actually I can get rid of some grain here, okay. That gives us an enormous amount of food for the few people that we have. Or now, but we're hiring more. It's also gonna help us a little bit with morale. For getting um what's it called? Uh food variety. Uh, recruit troops. Click, click, click. Yeah, now we're basically just going to the villages. And we're gonna get ourselves a lot of recruits. Which we eventually all have to level up. And then hopefully soon we're going to be able to recruit those... Um... Like I gained a skill point in leadership and is now one. It's my first birthday! All right, um, we're gonna put some a point into control. I think that's nice. And then we've got two focus points. Uh, let's see. We're gonna put the focus points into, one into medicine. So I always like medicine. And then we're gonna put one into one-handed. Am I gonna put one into one-handed? No. I'm gonna put one into one-handed, and we're gonna put one into into leadership. There we go. 
Don't execute any lords or mercenary leaders hired by other nations. It will absolutely ruin your reputation. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about doing that. Um, unless it's like a guy that we have a terrible history with for some reason. Um, but no, I'm going to play like more of a, of a noble guy. Um, not the kind of guy who, you know, like tells villagers to kill, keep half the money because, I mean, fuck the peasants. Let's be honest here. Um, but still the kind of guy who's like, you know, good reputation. Proper man. Doesn't doesn't do like the evil things. Now we're slowly getting there. Quickly kill some looters here. All on the way. The village to recruit more idiots. Those poor five looters. I'm back here. There we are. Oh, I should have just sent the troops, honestly. It's kind of silly. Everyone, give them a <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, right. I keep forgetting that that is a thing that doesn't work. You can't shoot properly right on your horse. Oh, I almost hit him. Oh, that was an amazing shot. Oh, that too. Come on. Oh, behind the rock. Ah. Oh. Sad, I tried. I'm sure shooting in there will not be a bad at all. I did lose a man, apparently. Who did I lose? The Kuzite Militia Spearman? Really? <laughs> the, the only upgraded infantry person that I have got killed by goddamn looters? It's always the same, isn't it? Nice, so here's more nomads. Am I gonna take these prisoners? Yeah, why not? These guys are not joining me just yet. Oh wait, I need to see if... Oh, these guys actually make horses, don't they? Oh my god, look at that. I can actually buy like really cheap horses here. That's great. Uh, two. I need two. Two horses. Well, technically, I could just buy a couple more because I have a lot of money. I can just buy, like, how many is this? Five? Five horses? Buy, like, a couple more. Let's, let's buy, like, seven horses. There we go. Because then I can upgrade these guys. And eventually other ones that level up. And we get a little faster, too, because we have uh, footmen on horses. Get some donkeys? <laughs> it would be great if you could let people ride on donkeys, but um, donkeys are only for carrying more loot, and uh, I don't think we need that right now. The city of Baltakand. Oh right, I need to keep my eye out for... I didn't actually look if there were any quests in any of the... Uh, Villages. Like I said, I, I need to install that mod that shows me if there are quests there. Oh, here's another guy who wants his daughter found. That's kind of nice. Like I said, those give a lot of money and are usually quite easy. The She-Wolf? Really? His daughter is called the She-Wolf? Cows, sheep and pigs count as beasts of burden? Really? Really? That's actually hilarious to me. Okay. That is... That's amazing. Oh, wait. What's going on here? Caravan... Oitos of the Eleftoroi's party versus the Caravan of Meniklis the Steward. Okay, well, I'm not gonna get involved in that shit. Um, trot it off towards Azalik. As a lick is over there, okay. Last time I played, unless they patched it out. That sounds amazing. Like, we just put our shit on the cows. Like, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna quickly kill these looters by just sending my troops. I lost five people. One of them being one of my horsemen. I will never send my people out ever again. So I literally just lost a horseman. That is amazing. Remind me to never send my people out again. Anyway, we searched the village. Yeah! Uh, they are 
over there. But oh, they are far away. Yar! I really love how all of the villages and everything in the regions are very uh, differently designed with the proper cultures. If you want auto resolve, you need. Yeah, I need to. Well, the thing is, you need to level your tactics by doing auto resolve. So you do need to auto resolve if you eventually want to have better auto resolve. Okay, so which. Wait, did I just. I just tried to get off my horse by holding tab. I'm sorry, I was in the middle of talking. It is a vicious circle. Yeah, you need to send people in to die so you can send people in to have a lower chance of dying. Is oh no, I was almost doing it. I almost did the thing again. Okay, uh, we dismount. So who who are you? Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're just a peasant. Okay. So there's Miriam the she-wolf, and there's Harry Bagai, who is apparently the love of her life. Okay, let's see. Uh, 84%. Oh, yeah. We did it again. 39%. We did not do it. I don't think so, she says. 19%. We did it. 19%. It's nice. It's almost 20. Alright, and so she returns to her family. Everything is good. Yeah, I'd love to recruit someone called She-Wolf. I completely agree. Deliver the herd to Misea. Okay, that's kind of nice. Let's uh, talk to this guy and maybe bring a herd somewhere. Give herself some more money and so on. I heard you may need help. Um... They've put together a herd of 10 step horses in Misea with all the banditry on the road. Oh, horses are good. Take a herd to Ganymos the Dyer. Some villagers will come along as well to help you drive the animals. I will deliver them personally. Oh, She-Ra. She-Ra the She-Wolf, yeah. Alright, so... Do I have anybody... No, these guys are still not joining me. Probably the looters will try to join me first. Um, let's put a point in... So, actually, wait. I have a lot of tactics. Command simulated battles, win battles, the difficult odd escape from encounters. Yeah. Look, I have like 31. Simulation advantage plus 3 per 1%. So I'm actually good at tactics. So sending an auto-resolve should actually work out pretty decently. Your cavalry deal 50% more damage to archers in simulations. Interesting. Uh, I think I'm going to put a point into cunning, actually. Right. Oh, right. The, the, the peasant is now actually with me, and I believe I have all these horses. Yeah, okay. Um, and we have to go... Oh, all the way to Musea, okay. Sent the troops. The, the, the peasant actually died. That's, that's hilarious, the peasant actually died. He's just dead. I don't care. It's it's fine. Poor peasant man. He was like, why are we attacking these people? It's like, oh, they're on the way. Oh, oh, okay. Alright. A quick stop in Makeb. Uh, where we want to get rid of these loot. And also trade away all of the things that we don't care for. There you go. There's a toss. Heavy recurve bow. Damn, these things cost so much money. It's crazy. Halloween emotes are loot? Yeah, I mean... That's what uh, his emotes... That's what he uh, rides his emotes on, you know. 
want to... There you go. Oh, wait, this is Imperial? Oh, okay. Don't want to get Imperials. Where's this Imperials? I guess because they took this? Clan, Kurgit Faction, Kuzite. Do I want Imperials? I mean... I can get an Imperial Infantryman and stuff like that. They're kind of alright to have some infantry too. Why not? Let's let's get some Imperials while we're here. Get that multicultural army going. But yeah, my emotes are all cute piggies. And Halloween's emotes are all used by pigs. So... <laughs> That's the big difference. Alrighty. Um, let's get some more Imperial dudes here. And then who do we have to talk to? Gaminos the Dyer? Uh, the, yeah, the Dyer, right? Hey, buddy! I bought the 10 Hertz. You receive 400 gold. I guess I'm not 100% sure that was worth it, but I mean, we we went here. We got to we gained a skill point and everything. Ah, the archer wants to join us. Perfect. Now we just have to wait for the uh, infantry to slowly join us. Nice. Well, we're slowly leveling stuff up, which is which is a good thing. All right, let's go back to the place, though. The place, you know what I'm talking about. The good place, the home place. Is it okay if I ask a question about the Witcher games, even though it's kind of off-topic? Uh, sure. You don't have to talk about, or well, I mean, it helps, but you don't have to ask a question about specifically the game that we're playing. There's a lot of looters. I'm actually gonna kill these. We're gonna be sending the troops because I'm, like I said, I'm actually kind of decent in tactics. Although I keep losing my my good uh, horse units, which kind of sucks. But um, I want to get those tactics up too. Next fight we're gonna do uh, ourselves. So, but yeah, go ahead. You you can ask anything, man. As long as it's like, you know, as long as it's a decent question. And not like, ha ha, how big is your cock? Like, uh, well. Let's just say I don't have enough space for that answer in this stream. Ah, <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, this castle is actually... Yeah, we're, we're leaving. All right. Goodbye. All right, I need to keep looking for, um... Quests in the villages too, because if you raise your reputation with people, it allows you eventually to just immediately hire like better peeps. It's quite nice. I bought Witcher 3 recently, and am I crazy? Was Siri not explained at all before the third game? She was. Siri was explained. S Siri has been explained since Witcher 1. Yeah, I agree. I don't remember her showing up as a character. Um, yeah, in the books, I mean, definitely. But, uh, yeah, Siri was explained and her backstory and so on, yeah. It's all there. All right there. I guess I'm making fish. Sheep. I want to buy some sheep for fun. Ah. All right, I believe we're slowly getting to my pa My party limit is 58. Steward bonus plus eight. Clan tier bonus plus twenty-five. Damn. My steward bonus is plus eight? From having twelve? Increase party bonus by three. I feel that's because of the um I kind of feel like that's because of the community patches or so on. I've read the earlier books, so I knew about Siri, but I couldn't remember anything about her from the games. Yeah, they just went very overboard with Siri in um Witcher 3, so. That's just that's just kind of where that comes from. Uh, the spear infantry wants to join. Nice. 
Slowly but surely, we're getting people. So we have quite a bit of cavalry, actually. How much cavalry? We have seven horse archers. We're also paying a lot of wages now. There we go. I think we're gonna like kind of keep it like this for now. That reminds me, do I actually have to? Oh right, clan tier bonus, clan tier 2, eligible for being a, va a vassal. Do I want to be surgeon or do I want to be quartermaster actually? My steward is going up. Surgeon plus zero zero two healing rate. Sixty now. I don't know. All right, so there's more looters. Always with the small looter groups that just run away from me. I feel like I should have installed that can't run forever mod, but I'm not sure. This is one. Oh, by the way, you're a father now. I mean, she's not your daughter. She's not like your blood daughter or anything. Everyone, mounted archer, move! Infantry, move! Oh, that headshot. Oof. Oh no. I'm so good at this whole bow thing. Nice. Oh look, we didn't lose anybody. Oh, I don't have horses. Need to buy some more horses again. Which... Wouldn't be much of a problem. Let's so re recruit some more uh, Imperials, because why not? Gotta have a couple of uh, those guys in here. Closest town is actually there. For a nation with a crap ton of archers, surprisingly, Klyka has almost none. Well, I mean, I got my horse archers. I have quite a few. It's just that, um, I like, they haven't been upgrading into anything else. Like, not into foot archers. And I believe it's a nation that has a lot of... Uh, a lot of horse archers. It's not a nation that has a lot of, like, regular archers. This guy actually wants to join me. I'm very happy about that. Cool. Uh, and now we're going to... Stuff. This, and I'm actually in need of food. Rain. Meat. Butter. And some fish. This should be good. This should be decent food variety too. Oh yeah, my money. Need to be careful with the money. Wait till you have to fight crossbow men. Jesus, crossbows are like 50 cal sniper rifles. I mean, they were kind of the 50 cal sniper rifles of their time. When you think about it. Okay. So we definitely... Want to see... About making more money. This is an... A gang leader quest, which we could take part in. We are a mercenary, I guess, but I don't think we really do, like... Um... I think we really... I don't think we really do these kind of, like, gangster bandit quests, so... Deliver the hurt to Tial. Where the fuck is Tial? Up there, yeah, nah. Not for, like... 500 gold or whatever. 
These bandits are living under a bridge. That's actually amazing. Do I send the troops? I send the troops. I again lose a troop. But it's fine. Our tactics are going up. Apparently also my medicine is going up. Are my tactics going up? Command simulated battles. Win battles are difficult odds. I guess slowly but surely. Yeah, sea raiders, yeah. A drink from your school. A drink. A drink from your school. Come back here. <laughs> Every time I lose people. Every time against like six looters or something. It is amazing. Oh here, we can get some Imperial archers, I guess, if I wanted to. Or I can just make them infantrymen. We're gonna make them infantrymen. And then I need horses again so I can get more horse archers. Does anyone here make horses? Well, these guys make horses. That's perfect. Sit over there. But yeah, I'm not gonna fight like... Those rocks are deadly. Fuck. Fucking rocks. They're, it's poop. It's not even rocks. It's like poop. I'm gonna buy all these. Actually, wait, no, what is what about my I, I keep thinking I have so much money and I actually don't. There we go. So that's nine horse archers now. Nine nine. At some point I apparently lost a Kuzite archer. Like my tier four unit. Okay, yeah, that was like, bring the herd to Husenfolk. Husenfolk is actually really close. We can do that. We can do that quest. Flaka, why are you wearing a dress? What? Oh, it's the Osaken. Hey, Osaken, how's it going? I'm doing quite well today. I hope you are doing uh, well as well. Um, also, why am I wearing... I'm not wearing a dress. What am I talking about? No dress. There's no dress. What are you talking about? It's it's armor. It's like proper armor. Look, it's not a dress. It's it's good. It's it's a belted leather cuirass. Cuirass. Wait, does it really say that the step horse is better because it has more maneuverability and hit points? I'd rather have the faster horse on it, right? All right, we're gonna do this. We have four days to deliver it. Should not be a problem. Da 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 da. Ooh, step bandits. I'd love to kill these guys, but they're way too fast for me. There we go. Um, the ironmonger is who we have to talk to. So that was super quick. And it's going to give us a bit of reputation. It's going to give us some money. <laughs> yeah, that guy is uh, more like an iron monger. Anyway, uh, here we go. Did you try blacksmithing? Yeah, I know about blacksmithing. Um, technically, we can make a lot of money with blacksmithing if we just break down everything into parts and uh, resources and then just sell the resources. But honestly, I look at this and all I see is a mechanic that is overcomplicated, way too detailed for basically offering, I don't know, not really a lot. This, this is maybe something for, I don't know, if you're at the end and you're like super bored and you've kind of done everything in the game, so you're like, I'm I'm, I'm gonna blacksmith now? I, I don't know. I think it is one of those mechanics that is kind of there for people who are into that, into that kind of stuff, which is not me. <laughs> Alright, do we have, uh, so the 
yeah, the quest is turned in. We've got a lot of money. Do we have any guys to upgrade? No, we do not right now. The looter wants to join us, or the looter, looters, but uh, we will not have that happen. Rutvar the Scholar. Ooh, he's like a big medicine man. That's actually kind of good, having someone who's really good at medicine. I wonder how much this guy wants. Probably like 2,000 or something like that. Okay, no one cares about you. Uh... Oh, he's actually not that expensive. We're going to hire this man. So now we have our first companion uh, for actually quite the decent amount of money, I would say. So we don't really need to equip him with anything crazy, and he does come with a, with a horse. Although it's an old Sumter horse, which is kind of shite, but he can't ride anything else. So that's alright. Armor smithing is something I'd really like to have in the game. Well, armor smithing they need to... They need to add, I guess, at some point. Um, so yeah, we've got the companion now. Uh, Rutva the Scholar. Actually... Cavalry, because he's on a horse, although it's a shite horse. Um, and we're gonna turn him into our surgeon. There you go. Increases our healing rate a little bit. Who's actually wounded? Any? No, it's just nomads. What do we have here? Forest bandits in the desert. You guys are. Well, I guess there are forests here. You guys are a bit far from home. Yeah, we're gonna take you guys out. Archers, move! Mounted archers, forward! Oh shit! They're just like. Everyone, charge! Just charge them. Just charge them. They can just shoot us right from here. Oh, if that had hit, that would have been amazing. Ooh, that was a fucking snipe. Horse needs to actually stop. Oh, I might have actually hit him there. Nice, I did get one or two snipes off. Yeah, Forest Bandit Archers are alright, but if you just... I, I have way too many people. See, I lost like two Nomads. I have, I have too many people, and if I charge them with the Cavalry, there's not a lot that they can do. Oh, but look, we've got Bushwhackers and Freebooters. And Azurai Peasants. Which, I can't look at what they actually turn into, but we will find out. We will also now get ourselves some Imperial Archers, because I want more Archers. And then I'm going to get myself uh, some more horses. Kuzite Raider or Kuzite Horseman? Kuzite Raider or Horse Archers? We're going to stay with Horse Archers. Like I said, this is going to be archery. Rutva got his ass kicked. Oh, would you look at that? We've got ourselves some arrows, so that's really nice. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of the shield and give that to him. And we're gonna put in, we're gonna get rid of the regular arrows. Splintered barbed arrows, splintered arrows. So we're gonna take these two barbed arrows. It equips arrows over barbed arrows. Even though the barbed arrows have one piercing damage. A little weirded out by that game, but okay. Better foot armor? Oh yeah, this is lighter foot armor, okay. There we go, that's very helpful. Or just the right amount. Stolen armor isn't good enough, advanced armor had to fit exceptionally well to not hinder- That is very true, yeah. That is very true, had to be uh, properly made for the people. Bandit base near Prolesia. I think we can go for a bandit base and try to take him out. Let's help these people. They're not part of our faction, but we can still help them. 
Because we're still trying to make a name for ourselves, right? I will assign a companion. Yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Uh, with this mod, I also can go into hideouts with my actual people instead of just having to take like eight people. So this actually spawns a lot of dudes. Can I can I get these step bandits? Ah, oh, they just rode around me. That's so sad. Wait, seventeen dudes just though. Come here. Come back here! There we go. I send in the troops. I lost an Imperial Archer. Yes, of course, why wouldn't I? Oh yeah, I need more horses. Um, yeah. I forgot about the horses. Helping is always good. Helping people is nice. Yo, what is this? 18 troops. 18 cavalry. What? Marauders, Raiders, they're okay. They're all cavalry, apparently. Wait until nightfall to attack. The looters want to join us. Eh. Maybe, maybe not. I only just realized my money is uh, dwindling, but... What's happening? After waiting for a while, you find a good opportunity to close an attack, but you need to be careful. You will be capturing a part of this purse if you are defeated. Okay. What just happened here? There we go. Attack. Okay, so I need to be very careful. Okay, my guy doesn't shout because we have to be very sneaky. Just charge him. Just just charge in there. Oh no. Can't hit him. Not like that. Is everyone just sneakily killing him? I have no idea where I'm actually going. I guess we're going into this town. Uh, into this town. This is not a town. This is actually a cave. Sorry. As a, as a German, I should know better because our infrastructure is definitely better than this. Oh, there's a man. Man? There's man. I shoot man. Haha. <laughs> I shot him straight in the jugular. Damn, this is a big cave. Boys, please. I'm trying to... Boys, please, I'm trying to snipe. What are you... Ah, fine. Oh wait, there's one more! No, what are you doing? Stop running in front of me! There you go. I killed the raider. I'm doing these, uh, these, these good snipes to get my bow up. It's, I love how my men were just standing there like, Sir, we actually just like, lost someone. Like, you just held us here so he would die. I'm like, yep, yeah, yep. And we assume that. I mean, I know I can do that, but... I don't know. I kind of want to explore a bit. I've never done this mission before. I mean, I can literally stand at the end of the... At the start of the mission. And just kind of be like, let my soldiers do everything. Because I have so many. These are fucking idiots. Oh my fucking god! 
<laughs> can't believe this. Look, I just want to get some fucking snipes in. Is this is this so bad? I killed him actually. I killed the step man. Hello. What's happening here? Did I win? I won. Oh shit. Um. Okay, just like walks past my guys. Oh. Oh, so now they're making a circle. Oh shit. Do I have to duel this guy? You, you've cut quite a swath from my men there. Damn you. How about we settle this one, one on one? No. What? Why would I do that? I even killed him. Look, I killed him. I clearly killed him. I won the duel. It was a fair duel that I won. Fairly. Step bandits. Nice. Lots of prisoners. Perfect. Uh, Archer... As a, oh wait, I never even checked what they turn into. Oh, they turn into Azerai recruits. Okay. I guess I can have some Azerai. That's cool. And then I can have... Oh, I need to buy eight horses at some point. Damn, look at all the stuff we just got. That's actually super cool. I just turned my, it just turned my desert horse into a step horse again. I, I hate it when it does that, but that's fine, I guess. Large bag of arrows. There we go. I think I just got horses from that, didn't I? I apparently got one horse. Oh my god, look at the amount of money that I just got. Holy crap. Did I really get that money from the quest? Two thousand dinars? Holy crap! I didn't even know I was gonna get that much money. That's actually fantastic. All right, let's quickly go into town and buy some horses. Seriously, I'm the Klai Khan. I define honor. I don't let honor define me. I define honor. I don't want like bandit troops. We're gonna ransom them for money. Dermot Horse Thief is a really good scout. And I honestly wouldn't mind having a scout. Let's see how much he costs. Honor has died since. Anyway, um, what you're saying is that you're a horse thief. Well, he's called Dermot Horse Thief. 519. Wait, actually, wait, if he's a horse thief. Ah, oh, well, we're fine. We're gonna be killing lots of people. He doesn't cost much. And if he doesn't like something we do, then we can always kick him out. Nice. So we've got another follower. There we go. Who, uh... Let's... let's give him a... Should I give him a spear? I don't actually know what he's good with. Oh, right. Um, Let's put some points into control for the bow. Put a focus into tactics so that goes up faster. Um, This is the scholar guy. So here's Dermot. Dermot is really good with one-handed and pole arms. He's super awesome at riding and throwing. He's a great scout. So we're actually going to name him the scout of the clan which is gonna be good and then gonna get give him this pole arm even though it's splintered it's like whatever right and then we're gonna sell all the stuff that we don't need we don't need sumter horses this keep all the food nice that's a lot of money uh, then we're gonna buy Imperial Chargers. Those are actually war horses, and they're super cheap, actually. Anyway, uh, let's see. I'm gonna buy, like, a couple of these. And then we're gonna upgrade these guys. There we go. And all of a sudden I have 14 horse archers. 
That's how it goes. That's how it goes sometimes. Nice. Um, so there's like better stuff here, or at least stuff that it says is better. Range arrows. Range arrows are weapon tier 3. They have more, they're the same pierce, and they have more, more ammo than the bobbed one. They don't seem to be more accurate, so... Light crossbow. Hmm. Simple javelin. I love how expensive those uh, throwing weapons are. It's pretty crazy, actually. Have some of these uh, armors, though. Wait, didn't I give him... Guess I didn't. Guess I fucked that up. Mm. Oh, there's the Splinter Jacket Spear. I guess I didn't give it to him. The Menavlion. That's the fucking Lu Bu thing that I used to use. That thing is crazy on a horse. Like, absolutely crazy. Wait, actually, is the Splinter Jacket Spear? I'm gonna get that. And then... We're gonna give you, like... I don't know, like an iron rim kite shield. Here you go. That looks proper. He looks like an alright lad. Uh, no quests? Alright, I'd say um, forest bandits. Kill a couple more of those. I am the true horse archer. Look at look at my accuracy. Look at my amazing accuracy. Oh wow, I, I killed him. I killed him too. I I killed him too. I was actually making fun of myself, but I guess I'm pretty awesome. Holy shit. Okay, I'm awesome. Yeah haha. -ha. Oh, three kills, holy crap. Yeah, that was amazing accuracy, I, I told you. That was fantastic. Azurai recruit. What do Azurai recruits turn into? They can eventually turn into... into Mamelukes. Mameluke cavalry. Poor Rotwar, though. Keeps getting a little shafted. <laughs> look at my bow. My bow is amazing. Oh look, there's actually a hideout here. I guess we could kill that hideout. And get uh, maybe a lot of uh, stuff again. Let's get rid of the hideout. Surgeon plus... 0 0.22, party members plus 0 0.18. So that's actually really good having uh, our medicine guy here. So what does he actually do? Increases character hit points. Bonus 10% healing rate increase when mobile. Okay, that's good. Wounded pa members party speed penalties decrease by 50%. High morale increases the healing rate by 10%. Actually pretty awesome. makes my party faster. Oh wait, I, there we go. Wait until nightfall! One thing about hideouts? What is the thing about hideouts? Okay, I think we're just gonna like let everybody do their thing here right now. Just, just go for it, boys. If you think you can't finish it, leave and enter again. Why... Why should I not be able to finish it? What do you mean? Like like a bug or something? Or okay, I'm actually letting like my my horse archers and so on stay with me 
while everyone, like my infantry, my infantry is, is retarded, apparently. Oh, my archers don't actually shoot. They don't actually have, like, their bows with them. I, I see how it is. Okay, everyone just charges. I guess they have their bows, they just don't use them. Okay, good. Uh, user blacklisted, spamming, botted, scamming, by what? Interesting. Interesting, I just immediately had uh, a guy timed out here who came in spamming. Okay. Well, sorry for that, man. You were timed out. Ironson, hey! It's the Eddie Charge! Here comes Bandit Man. He's like, I'm gonna duel you. We're gonna have a fair fight. How are you finding Banner Lord? Uh, I like it, man. I like it. I'm having, uh, I'm having a good time with it. Okay, this is a bug, I suppose. I mean, it doesn't seem like the most stable game. Oh, I know what you mean. No, they didn't change it, Beetle. I'm using a mod for that. I'm using a mod so that I can take my proper people into the hideout. Because, uh, it's really weird not being able to take your people into the hideout, even though you can, you know, you're right there, and there shouldn't really be a reason for you not to take them into the hideout. Right, I need two more horses to make these guys horse archers again. Uh, oh, would you look at this? Cracked longbow, cracked mountain hunting bow. So this has less missile speed, but it actually has more accuracy than my step bow. Interesting, I kind of feel accuracy is better than missile speed. Tried going a Berserker build. Uh, that's what I had. Um, the current mod that I'm using, um, this overhaul mod for example, uh, does some good stuff where you don't get just like stun locked and so on. So it works really well for Berserker. Um, I also have the mod where I can hit multiple enemies with uh, two-handed weapons and so on. And you also get a tiny bit of health back whenever you kill someone, which of course you can turn on and off if you want that or don't want it, um, which is dependent on your medicine skill. So that's actually kind of nice. So that works really well for a Berserker build. Because let's be honest, there's there's quite a bit of stuff in this game where it's like, I want to have fun in a video game. I'll just send my troops in to help this guy. Did I actually lose someone? No, I did not. Perfect. Your help was most welcome. My name is Tulul of the Benizilal. My name is Klaikan. Well met, Klaikan. I am in your depth. Nice. You can still get one shot. Well, you can still get one shotted with a spear, yeah, but I mean, you gotta get hit for that. Just don't get hit. Look how many wounded people I have. I really need to give people a little bit of a chance here. I want to like get rid of all prisoners. So I don't want to keep any of those. Can you download these mods just from the workshop? Do you download them from somewhere else? The mods come from Nexus mods. That's usually where you get all of them. Uh, the game, as far as I'm aware, does not have Steam Workshop integration right now. I don't know if it's supposed to get Steam Workshop integration or if it's going to be something else. But you get them. I, I got them from Nexus mods. Um, let's see. How many horses do I need? Two. Oh, okay. Kind of thought it would be more, but... I mean, I can buy a couple more. I, I have a lot of money now, actually. But I'll just buy two here, and if we get to a village where we can buy them cheaper, then I'll buy a couple more so I have them to be, like, faster as well. A quest? No. Okay, let's actually get back to, like, our faction, shall we? Oh, wait, no. What I wanted to do was I wanted to allow my peeps to... One sec, I can actually talk to this guy, I believe, and he can tell me where tournaments on? Uh, where tournaments are?
There's one starting up at Onira, another at Vostrom. Onira and Vostrom. Since you're playing as a filthy barbarian, can you eat the horses? I'm not a filthy barbarian. I'm, a, I'm, I'm cultured, man. What the hell? I ride horses. Onira over here. Let's go for the tournament. But I only just realized that were they at war? I'm pretty sure this is normally not like. Pretty sure this is normally not their town. Is this being sieged? This is being sieged. Okay, I just wanted to take part in the goddamn tournament, but I guess uh, there's one at Vostrum too, though. Ah, we tried. Let's go back to our faction. And the troops. Really? I lost one of my horsemen to four fucking looters? Or to like seven looters? Really? I don't know, I don't know what to say here. Not sure what to say to this uh, treachery. This is absolute treachery. This is insubordination! You never got the orders to die. You were told to survive. It's assault. Burr. Rain. Oh yeah, isn't there one over here that produces salt? I don't remember. Yeah, these guys produce Then. The RNG is just against me, seriously. This is looter wants to join me. What is my tactics? Is my tactics actually going up? My tactics is going up, but it's going up so slowly. All right, no quests here. Oh, there's a tournament here. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. I'm on a horse. Okay, apparently he hit me. I thought I timed that correctly. I oh, come on. Really? I, that did not hit him? Holy shit, how much health do these guys have? Oh, I'm dead. Chite. Did we win? We end up win- uh, apparently we ended up winning. Amazing. I sidestepped that. Oh, really? Okay, come here. Okay, we got him. Got him. Ah, you pig! Nice. I do exactly 25 damage. Oh shit, I do 25 damage against my own man too though. Whew. All right. Me versus the Kuzite Spearman. Oh, there's the Kuzite Spearman. Fuck, come on. I was sure I timed that correctly. That was... that was good. Yes! Yes! Now to fight the Karak Kuzite Elder, who probably is gonna take zero damage from my attacks. Aw, oh, fuck off, come on. They're so perfect. <gasps> I just insta killed him with a headshot. Yes, we win the tournament. Yes, we win the tournament and we get a long saber out of it and a thousand gold. Whew. Damn. Oh wait, sorry, wrong button. Uh, look at that right here, long saber is longer 
as more cut is slower to swing, less handling, less thrust speed, less swing speed. Longer is good though, especially when I use it from a horse, so we're gonna go with that. Then he's gonna have our Eastern Straight Saber. Nice, very fine. Let's uh, ransom the prisoners. Oikor the Bull. Oh, he looks like a fine guy. He's all about fighting. Let's hire us, uh, ourselves another companion, shall we? Yeah, I was like, he's probably not going to take any damage. I just one-shotted him. Okay, let's skip the pleasantries. I really don't care. Wow, these dudes cost barely any money. That's actually awesome. Oikor the bull. Oikor the bull needs a horse. And maybe a shield. What is he good at? Oikor is a decent tactics man. He is really good with... He's pretty much amazing with anything. He's best with two-handed. Okay. Should I maybe have him as like a two-handed... Um, because his riding is actually shite, if you look at that. This is like a... This is an infantry man. This is an infantry guy. Okay, I guess we're gonna buy him like a two-handed sword or something, I guess? Can I get you like a nice two-handed sword? Could I interest you in a nice two-handed sword? I don't think they sell two-handed swords here. This pole arms. A hoe. I could buy him a hoe. Yeah, they don't do two-handed horses. I guess we can give him, I don't know, like a... A simple pike, which is two-handed. It's a two-handed polearm. Notched military fork. That's actually better than the simple pike. Give him a notched military fork. Like this. Which is two-handed. And counts as a pole arm and not two-handed, but it's still fine. Uh, we're gonna sell this. And I guess I could give him... Do I wanna buy him some better armor? Nah, I don't wanna spend too much on this man. I don't even know this man. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, he's, he's seen a lot of battle. Make him a farmer. He's seen a lot of battle. Um, we're, we're gonna scrounge together stuff. I definitely am kind of happy with where we are here right now. We're slowly go gaining renown. We actually only need nine more renown. And then we're clan tier two. Which means we can actually end up um, uh, becoming a vassal or something for people. Which might turn out quite nice. Like we can become a mercenary basically. Oh, can I get there? Ah, I was uh, I, I was gonna try and get there to help him with that fight. I wanna talk to you, man. Don't run away, I just wanna talk. Please, buddy. Please, I just want to talk. Oh, 22 looters. That sounds like a great way of losing all my cool uh, people. Now, we're gonna do a proper attack here. Archers, move! Horse archer, forward! This is some real shit. Infantry! Footmen! Infantry! Attack! Infantry! Jump! Four soldiers! Attack! I do the shoots while uh, riding, because why not? Fuck your poop! I have arrows. I shot him in the butt, did you see that? He just held his butt right in the tushy. Ahaha. <laughs> Am I actually gaining points in bow, by the way? I don't think I'm seeing myself actually leveling up in uh, in bow usage, but I, I kind of hope I am. Right, I forgot about Oikor the Bull. 
Klyka and, Klyka and Cheese Horse Archer Brigade. It's not cheese. It's not cheese. The Klykan. It is just the Klykan. It's not cheese, man. How's it going, Phrase? What's up, my man? I haven't seen you in a little bit. Is that, am I actually... Oh, yeah, my bow is actually going up. Wait, I, 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 I never chose this. Accuracy with bows increased by 10%. Oh, no, I did choose this. Yeah, 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 sorry. Increases readying speed by 10%. Our bow skill has gone up by 9. Oh, riding skill. Your quiver will have free arrows. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. Give me my arrows. Awesome. Arsters. Oh, man. There's some real arsters right there. Did we actually... We gain three renown. Okay. We need more renown. Uh, wait, well, how many people? Two. Gotta buy two horses. My food. My food is awesome. Oh, these are super cheap. Okay, I'm gonna buy a couple of those. Buy like 10. That makes us really faster, like, on the map too. Which is nice, and it allows me to just upgrade people better. This game will absorb your hours? It might. It's a, it's a good game. It's pretty alright. It's it's still pretty simple at the moment, but it's alright. How is anything cheese if it's part of gameplay? I mean... Cheese is... Cheese is an interesting thing. It depends on what it is. Uh, I know I can lock items. Yeah, uh, I, he I heard about that. Um... So cheese is kind of an interesting definition for me. I, I think it depends. Like, let's say, for me, something that's really cheesy, for example, is when there's, say, there's a boss, and the boss has mechanics. Like, this is, like, from Destiny 2, for example. Destiny 2 is, like, my biggest example for this. So in Destiny 2, there's bosses that have mechanics, and there are ways that you can cheese those mechanics where you never actually have to do them and you just basically can just kill the boss doing something completely different. And that, for example, I think is cheesy. It's not like bad, it's not like an exploit or something, but it's kind of cheesy because you're literally circumventing mechanics. I guess another thing would be, let's say there is a game that is entirely focused on melee combat, right? Like, it's like the whole game is built around engaging in one-on-one -on -one melee combat. And then there was a way for you where you could cheese yourself on top of a crate where if you use a certain melee weapon, the one with the longest range, you can just sit on that crate and you can just stab down on the enemy and they literally cannot reach you. That, for example, I'd say is cheese. That is, like, super cheesy. And again, you're, like, kind of circumventing the mechanics of the game. Vila Trude the Wronged. She is a good riding lady. Can, do I have enough space for her, though? Wait, uh, clan menu, sorry. Yes, I can get one more. Let's get ourselves a lady. By the way, Klyker, you played a lot of Destiny 2. Is it worth getting Shadowkeep? I got super burned on Osiris and War... If you wow, the last time you played was Osiris and Warmind. That was literally Destiny 2 at its worst. You basically missed Forsaken, which was the best time Destiny 2 ever had. Um, but you're also not going to be able to relive the real glory times of Forsaken because um, most of the Forsaken content, like the campaign, is locked between buying for behind buying Forsaken. Um, but you can go to the Dreaming City just like that with the free to play. Um, I thought Shadowkeep was kind of eh. Forsaken was amazing, but it was amazing at the time that it came out. Uh, I'm pretty sure right now Destiny 2 is kind of in like an eh state with like those seasons and stuff like that. But it's also free to play, so you can kind of just download it. You don't need Shadowkeep or Forsaken. Uh, if you want to play the current content, then you have to get the season or this season, which I believe is almost over. But yeah, damn, if you got burned out on Osiris and Warmind, that was, like, a long time ago. Like, Destiny 2 has become a very different game since that. Um, since then, although I believe they have maybe regressed in some 
ways again. Okay, she needs a horse though. Give her a step horse. And she needs a saddle. She's actually good at riding. The step fur harness? Is that, is that what I want to get her? I think you're worth a light harness for now. You're not worth like a step harness. I also don't think you're worth this. You're very much not worth that. Uh, I can get you some of the... Well, no. Actually, no. You have to earn your keep. I'm going to get her a shield, though. I have this feeling at the back of my net that they're working on Destiny 3. They... I believe they were working on Destiny 3, and now they're just kind of making a lot of content for Destiny 2. There's going to be a big expansion again this year, pretty much. I'm pretty sure about that. That's kind of come out. Destiny 3... I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. Um, but who knows? They certainly have tried to talk in such a way that people are to believe that there is no Destiny 3, so... Simple Pike? No. You're going to get a, a spear. There you go. You're going to get a spear and then a and then a sword like this. I spent money on that lady. Okay. Um So, we want to do some more stuff to get a bit of reputation. Yes, I can have way more troops, can't I? Get some more recruits. Maybe not here. I need to find another like decent sized groups of group of enemies so I can get a bit of renown out of that. Also I wanna put you all the way up there. Okay, we need five more renown. Five. Not four, not six. Five. Chapeshta, that's a great name for a uh, for a village. Chapupi, Chapupi. This girl will get it yet. Okay, is that? Do I have too many people? No, I'm good. I'm all right. Oh, step bandits. I mean, they're going to be super fast. So, But if there are step bandits here, there's, there might be a hideout around. Arigun the Wainwright. Cruel and generous. Cruel and generous. She's an engineer. Okay. Well, I don't need her right now, but... Uh... Oh, what we got there? 26 looters. That's exactly what I need. Attack! Uh, I'm the kind of guy... I Over. I would use cheeses Whoa. after I've done a ton, the content a ton of times. I would not use cheese on my first playthrough if I can avoid it. Unless I, like, find the cheese by myself, maybe? I don't know, but usually if I can avoid it... Off oh, that had hit. Come on. Oh, come on. I need those sniper XP. Oh, there we go. They're throwing the poop. They're throwing it. Look at this guy! He's just like slowly trotting there with his uh, spear. Aww. 
Well, I got like one or two hits, but sadly no kill. Alright. Kuzait returns to a Kuzait Dakan. Yo, okay, I am a Klai Khan, but this Dark Khan is definitely more stylish than I am. You always kind of wonder why these guys work for you. I mean, like, I am an absolute shitter in comparison to this guy. Like, just, okay, just look at this dude's skills. Look at these dude, this dude's skill levels. This guy is level 26. I'm, like, level... Five or something. I don't even know what level I what what level am I? I don't know. We'll we'll see in just a bit. Okay, I am level I'm level six. That I've, I'm literally paying people who are vastly stronger than I am, and they're following me into battle. But then again, I guess they're not doing it because I'm such a cool dude. They're doing it because I literally am paying them. Uh, okay, we need one more Renown. Yeah, maybe he should be. Maybe he should be running the party, seriously. Come here, you. Okay, we're gonna send the troops, probably lose immediately the Dark Khan. No, we lost the like, Kuzite Nomad, which I guess is okay. And I believe... That might have given us the Renown that we needed to. Yes, we are now clan tier 2. So, we can now get a ton of extra stuff. We can have an extra companion, which is great. Uh, we can make parties now, so we can send people over. And we can become a vassal, which, uh, or a in, get a mercenary contract for um, from this faction. So, I'd say what we have to do is we have to find ourselves a nobleman. And we have to talk to the nobleman, and we have to be like, Dear nobleman! Oh, do we want to get her so we have, like, an engineer person? In case we have to siege something? I kind of want that. She seems like a cool person to have. The new Tomb Raider, I only ever use bows in them, though using machine guns might make them easier. I mean... Yeah? Probably. I mean, they, they were games that are built around, you know, the year of the bow, which was when it was released, which was like where every video game that came out needed to have some kind of bow in it. Um, I don't know. It probably made it a lot easier using like sniper rifles and stuff like that. I just kind of, I just kind of used whatever in that point. Uh, do we actually want to give this lady anything? I can give her a mount, I guess. Is she good at writing? Can she write? The girl can write. Okay. Needs a saddle, though. Okay, we're gonna quickly just buy her a saddle. That's all she's gonna get. We're gonna get a saddle! But, like, a cheap one. Fuck, even the cheap saddles are expensive. What the all right, our money is slowly draining. So, Izur's party. Talk to party leader. You need to be in the same location as the character, okay? Can I go to the keep? I can bribe my way into the keep. Oh, tournament. Tournament, this is important. This is very important. It's us together with Rutwa the Scholar. Amazing. The, the biggest idiot in my party. Fuck, and I'm on a goddamn horse as an archer. Oh wow, okay, that worked out. Oh no, did I hit my... Oh, I, I hit Rutger. Holy shit, Rutger's fucking going nuts. He's become Rutger Hawa. Well, I killed a Kuzite Kus Militia Spearman, I guess. Uh, okay, I tried killing him, but my horse's head was like, no. Wait, what the? Oh, there's a, there's another archer! That guy got back on his horse, what the hell? Never actually seen AI get back on their horse, that's amazing. Ow. 
Ah, nice. I took out Bagai. Whoever that is. Random named man. Whoa, Rudwa the Scholar just went, like, absolutely nuts on these fools. Uh, should horses make the ho should saddles make the horses more maneuverable? I think it makes them faster and more maneuverable. If you ride a horse without a set, holy shit! You actually get a named horse out of that that needs riding ninety. Okay, I guess one of my guys gets that because my riding is shite. What the hell? Okay, and now everybody has they're just insta dead. Okay, Dermot horse thief just got insta killed. Luckily, he was in the other team, I believe. Man, if only I was actually good at horse uh, bow riding. It's kind of trying to take out their horses, I guess. Oh, this is my guy here. This is Yukor the Bull. Honestly, I think I'll just... Why did I even ride? It's gonna do this. There you go. I'm just gonna stop. That works a lot better. Klaikan and Rudwa versus Ezur and Kozite Noble's son. Get behind me is uh, Rutgar. You, you literally can't beat people who have a sword with a spear like this. It's so funny. Like, they just attack you so fast that you can't do this super slow animation. There we go. Like, I only did it because he came in here. And now I have to have to duel Rutwa the Scholar. I'm getting fucking hard carried by him, yeah. All right, bro. Jump! I tried the jump attack. Six damage delivered. Am amazing! I hit him in the face, and it delivers six damage. I'm sidestepping him. Sidestep. The famous sidestep. The Klyka sidestep. Famous in oh, and all the dance halls around the world. The Klyka sidestep. Yes. And we win the tournament. Eight renown, 1,000 gold, and a named horse. The Klyka sidestep once again for the win. You cannot make it up. Only the finest in arena fighting for my viewers here. Only the finest. So yeah, this thing needs fucking riding 90. So she can use it. He can use it. He can't use it. The horse thief can use it. Uh... We're gonna give it to the horse thief, cause... I don't know. Oh, step warhorse. Okay, she's gonna get the step warhorse. There we go. Where, where am I? There, here. Yeah. To be honest, one-handed spear thrust is super awkward. Yeah, it is. It, it is. It is really... It is really awkward, I know. But switching to two-handed was like... So here's Azur. We actually, like, beat that guy in the tournament. Alright, let's... Uh, wait, I wanted to sell horses. No, no, I don't want to sell horses. We have a lot of food. We have a good amount of money. We're all right. Anybody to upgrade? No. Some nomads, they can, like, heal their wounds on the way. I could bribe my way into the keep, but that's kind of, like, not what I care about. Wait, uh, there is an encyclopedia, isn't there? I can press N. Here we go. Uh, kingdoms? Kuzite? Leader Monchuk. So I want to talk to the leader, I believe, to become, like, a merchant or something. He's the new owner of Gaos Castle, last seen near Macab. Where's Macab? Macab is down here. Okay. 
Let's see if we can find this man. Oh, that's it. That's him right here. I would like to converse. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? My name is Klai Khan, sir. May I ask your name? I am Monchuk, Khan of the Kuzites. I am Lord of Makeb and Chaikant. I don't know your name, but no matter. Some say there is greater honor to found a great lineage than to be born with one. Uh, there's something I'd like to discuss. I would like to enter into your, f into your service. And how would you serve us? My sword is yours for the right sum. My lord, I would pledge allegiance to you and be counted among your loyal followers. No, my sword is yours for the right sum. We are mercenary, man. Yes, we're hiring mercenaries. We pay you to fight, though, not just ride around the countryside. You'll get 30 dinars whenever you take down an enemy party or do a similar... Thir 30 dinars? 30? I get 30? 30? Okay, no, you know what? We're not going to be in mercenaries. Uh, we're going to just... Oh, no, 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 sorry. It's nothing. It's nothing. I'm sorry. Uh, oof. Um, I would like to enter your service. I would pledge your allegiance. You are known as a brave warrior and a fine leader of men, Klai Khan. I shall be pleased to accept your sword into my service as you're ready to swear homage to me. I am ready, Monshuk. Good. Then repeat the words of the oath with me. I swear that you are my Khan, my father, my protector. It said when you destroy an enemy party. Yeah, it's like 30 dinars? What the fuck is he? What is he talking about? Okay, here we go. You are the chosen of the sky. <laughs> Sir, may I ask one more time? Your word shall direct the strike of my sword and the flight of my arrow. Okay, yeah, we're good. Very well, you have given me your solemn oath, Glycan. May you uphold it always with proper courage and devotion. Hogolians joined Kuzites. Let it be known that you are adopted into the Kuzite Confederacy and that you shall be considered of the ancestry of the twelve sons of the She-Wolf. You may sit in our councils of war and of peace. We shall ride to defend your flocks and avenge your blood if you fall. Your herds may graze in our lands and drink from our springs. You've done a wise thing, Klai Khan. Serve me well and I promise you will rise high. I thank you, my lord. I have great hopes for you, Klai Khan. I know you shall prove yourself worthy of the trust I have placed in you. Uh, I want to join your army. I have a quick question. No, oh, okay. I want wish to be released. Uh, I have a proposal. What are your general thoughts on politics? Urkun, my forefather, gave the Kuzites everything they had. They were as mangy stepdogs eating from the scrap heap outside the walls of the cities. He turned them into a pack of wolves. He raised his hand and cities fell, and he gave the clans land to call their own. Is there a chieftain of the Kuzites who does not like my decisions? Oh, okay, he's just like talking about something. Um... I have a proposal. I'm listening. Oh, we can do, like, trading. This man has a lot of money. Man has a, has a lot of money. Okay, uh... I want to join your army. Very well, follow us. Okay, I must leave now. You are in Monchuk's army. We're traveling to Kuruluk. Oh, now they're all green. Look at this. They're like green because I'm actually part of them. Okay, I don't think that this guy is actually doing anything. Are they currently at war with anyone? The Kuzite. Can I see that if they're like at war with people? Right now? Wars. They are apparently at war with the Karakurjit and with the Northern Empire. Yep, they are at war with the no Northern Empire, so... I'm gonna quickly kill these looters here. Militia of De... Oh, look at that! The village militia just came to my help because I was close enough to them. That's actually pretty awesome. I kind of like that. The village militia came to my help. Amazing. So I guess now that... Uh, now we're at war with these guys over here. So I guess we can start, I don't know, like raiding and shit? <laughs> what a nice militia. Seriously. I lost three men. Against a couple of looters. 
This is this is the way. This is the way of the Banner Lord. God damn it. I have eight wounded. Yeah, okay. Before we actually go there, let's get those eight wounded back and let's recruit a couple more dudes real quick. I can't. It's all empty. I can have 90 people now. I've only just realized that. Polref Frostbeard. Like a scout bowman. But we uh we can't have any more We can't have any more companions. Leaf Kingdom. Oh wait, kingdom. Oh here you go, so now I can look at the kingdom. Clans. The Hogolians. So I have the least influence. I have six members though. Spend your own influence in to increase the influence of the selected clan. You cannot support your own clan. Okay. I wonder what I can do with influence. I've never actually had influence. Sirotas Castle. Policies. Land tax. A lot of policies. Armies. Waiting in Odok. Traveling to Epinosa Castle to besiege. Oh, nice. Let's 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 join these guys. That's actually really cool. They have forty six defenders. <laughs> Should we kill those villagers? Nah. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Hey, buddy. Uh. Talk to the army leader. Uh, my name is Klaikan. I know your name. I, n I hear that you have pledged allegiance to our lord Monshuk. Fight against our foes with valor, but also with honor and compassion. A good name is as valuable as a sharp sword or a swift horse in affairs of arms. Okay. I have a proposal. I could I could sell you this fine Falcon. He does not want the fine Falcon. Okay. Uh, I want to join your army. Very well. So you are besieging Epinosa Castle. Kanujan is commanding the siege. Nice, so now we're in the siege. So they're just building their defenses while apparently we're building the siege camp. And then my guy is gonna put down stuff here. He's building a battering ram. This is a village, not a battering ram. Army cre Ilatar created an army. Siege tower. <laughs> that caravan is like, I want to go past, but I can't. Kanujan's army is besieging the walls. You decide to help Kanujan's army. Okay. Well, everybody, this is going to be your first uh, siege here. This is actually going to be, I think, the second siege that I've ever done in this game. And I don't think we're going to bring our horse. Or horses in general, so. Oh, I can... Wait, I can set this up? Just gonna auto deploy. This this is kind of interesting that I can do this. I can literally say we don't need a battering ram. Didn't he build the siege tower? Did he not end up building the siege tower? Wait, I'm on a horse. Where's my where's my guys? Whoa. There isn't any unit under your command. Oh, I see. Because I'm not the commander of the battle, I can't even command my own forces. Where's the battering ram? It's over there. Fuck. My guys just went home. They were like, yeah, fuck this. Oh, come on. That is hard to hit. 
Bring me closer, I want to hit them with my bow. Nice, killed one. What about that battering ram? This is where my FPS drops, by the way, because so many people are fighting. Well, there's that battering ram, I guess. Ay! When they get hit, they go, ay! Oh, I hit him. I only ever do 25 damage? That's actually quite fun. Well, or 67, I guess. There you go. That's another kill for the Klykon. Okay, I have to be careful here. That's definitely Ashes. Okay. Oh, they're shooting me, though. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, uh, I don't want to die. I hate that you can't sprint in this game. Okay, I believe the battering ram is now in place. Well, well I killed a veteran arch. <laughs> Random arrow. Ugh, my health. I want to take part in the proper siege. I have arrows stuck in my arm. Uh, I think it was a headshot, or maybe it went through their armor, I'm not sure. Are we like... This guy is shooting a ballista, holy crap. Well, he was shooting a ballista, I guess. Yes, please just stand there so I can kill you. Are we, uh... Wait, this is what you brought a battering ram for? Well, I guess, I guess to be fair, actually, that makes sense. Alright, boys, we in! Uh, not with the patch. I, a lot with the mod I have installed there, let's know. Ugh. I, I, I flank. Oh, wait, those are my friends. Fuck, I should not have flanked. Oh, I should not have flanked. Wait, where did you guys come in? Holy crap, okay. Wait, is this gonna be where, like, the allied soldiers keep running in front of me as I try to snipe? Gotta take care of those crossbow men. Oh. Dead men. Oh, I killed him! Holy crap! Yay! We actually got quite a few kills! We took the castle! Actually, wait, this isn't the castle. This is a town! No, wait, it's a, it's a castle. We took it. Did we lose anybody? We lost four people. Just nomads. We only lost four nomads. Nice. And we take a lot of prisoners. Well, eight of them. My spear infantry becomes another dark hand, so we now have like two of those. Uh, quite a few wounded people, and yeah, quite a few of my um, uh, companions too. Do we actually get? Oh wow, we get some stuff out of this. Okay. Uh, I do this. I do this. And click. Cracked simple short. Wow, the cracked simple short bow, even though it's just the cracked version, is a tier 5 bow and is vastly better than the one I have. That is great. The splintered barb arrows are literally exactly the same what I have. Give people some nicer civilian clothes. Well, I don't know if his are nicer, actually, but I guess they're better. 
You lost four men siege in the castle when random bandits take more from your men. Well, to be fair, it's not like my men were there alone. There were a lot of others. Nice. Epinosa Castle has been taken by an army you're a part of. Off. Gather your men. We have another job to do. Imperial military archer. Sure, buddy. Come in. Come, come in here. We've got room for you. We've got room for all of you guys. Get, uh, they're taking my recruits. Do I need do I need food? Oh wow, I need food actually. Uh, let's buy like some grain, some butter, and some cheese. There we go. It's gonna hold for eight days for now. Uh, and we're just gonna sell all this crap here. Uh. No. Nice. How much? Eight days. I want more. Get some more grain. I guess we're now uh, sieging Maccab. Yup. Actually, are we? Oh no, sorry. Maccab is, is, Maccab is literally our main town. We should not siege our main town. That would be rubbish. Getting like a couple more horses. Wait, are we getting a couple more horses? I don't have that much money actually. But we can get some different food, I guess. For my food variety. Well, my morale is definitely better than when we started. Alright, so kingdom. Armies. Here we go. Uh, wait, he's just waiting now. Traveling to Umprela, traveling to Gaos. Let's see. Traveling Umprela to Besiege. Let's see where that is. Umprela is over there and is a town and is really close. We are leaving this army and we're having heading to Umprela. <laughs> this village was raided. What's going on here? Oh, it's Esur. We can help Esur with the raid. Fighting them will cause a war? I don't want to fight you, man. It's got oil and cows. I love that. I just wanted to say hi, actually. Yeah. Do you ever do trading in this game? I haven't actually been following very closely. Uh, well... I, I, not in this playthrough, I mean, unless you mean by trading me selling the spoils of war, I have done my very first playthrough when I was playing on stream, uh, was actually, let's rate these guys, was actually me, uh, playing as a trader. Right now, instead of trading, I'm doing raiding. And we're just waiting for the siege camp here to be built, and then we're going to join in the siege. Should be now. Apparently that guy has a quest for me? Vicon, it's been a while. Heard you pledged your allegiance, indeed. These wars have taken a toll on my men. The bravest often fall first, they say, and fewer and fewer families are willing to let their sons join my banner. But the wars don't stop because I have problems. I need more recruits in Kaiser Castle's garrison. Oli deck with the raid! Oli, thank you so much! Here come the piggies and the angry Oli! Hey everybody! How's it going? What are you guys up to? Are you coming in here wanting to see some barbaric massacres of uh, people? Because then you're in the right street. Because that's what we're all about. Uh, maybe you can recruit four Kuzai Kwang Li and bring them to the garrison. One of your trusted companions who knows how to lead men can go around with six horsemen and pick some up. Uh, I would love the 2,000 gold, but I have no idea how to get those Guangli. Hey everybody, hello, hello, hello. Hi Pengi, how's it going? Oh yeah, here we go. Post those piggies. We need those piggies. Uh, I don't think I can help him with this. I don't even know how to get Guanglis. Anyway, converse, talk to the army leader. I want to join your army. There we go. 
Piggy, 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 can't you see? Sieging is what is what it's all about for me. Alright, we're building the siege camp. There we go. So, we will be actually seizing, uh, seizing, sieging a town. No, we might not. No, we uh, might be fighting this army for, maybe? He does, he's not quite sure. Even though we have way more men. And now we're going back to sieging, I guess. Because Lucon did not want to fight us. He was like, nope, I'm out. And now we have to rebuild our siege camp. Nice. Because I have so much fucking time. Because I just need to pay my goddamn people. This might actually be bad. I just realized, because... Give me a sec. No, pause. There we go. We, we have to, like, attack this caravan or something. Why is this caravan so fast? Is the hideout going to give me a lot of money? Okay, we're going to attack the hideout. It's been a bit since I've watched you, Clyga. Good to finally catch a stream. Yeah, nice, Bengi. Good to see you here, man. Oh shit, that's my... That was my sword. That was not my bow. I hit him. I hit his shield. I think I hit one of my guys? Oh, you played Eratus. Nice. Oh, I want to play Eratus now. Actually, you know what? That's actually good. That's a good... That's a... That's a good thing. Eratus is good times. Lots of people wanted to see Eratus as well. But uh, Bannerlord ended up winning the poll. I pull out my sword so I can go... Oh, you have to run faster than me. Go get them. Whoever stops in the face of the enemy gets my sword in the back. I randomly shoot in there and deliver damage, which is probably to my own people. Yeah, Eratus is great. I think Eratus is a, is a very fun game. I definitely want to stream that again on uh, uh, one of these days. I definitely want to stream that again on stream. What I wanted to actually say was I want to play it again on stream. Damn, this bow is awesome. Holy shit, look at this accuracy that I get with this new bow. And how fast the arrows go. Uh, no, I haven't gotten any Vampire Kill. I haven't played the game. I haven't played the game in, in quite a while, actually. Holy crap, this, this bow that we got is fucking awesome. <laughs> I love how my guys are just running in. Like the absolute nutters that they are. Can't see shit. Uh, hey, oh, he goes. This is a really good bow. This is very, very much a fine bow. You know, I don't even have a shield, so no, we're not fighting duels. I'm killing him though. Haha, <laughs> like I got the killing. I definitely killed him in a fair one versus one once again. I keep telling you guys, this is how you do a proper duel. You let your people build a circle and then you tell them to kill all of these fuck fuckers because they're dirty bandits and they des don't deserve honor. Uh, and we're gonna sell these prisoners. Oh boy, are we gonna sell these prisoners. And we got a little bit of money from eating these guys, so that's actually kind of nice. It's fair because he shouldn't have fought you. Exactly, Ollie gets it. The Ollie knows what he's talking about. Battered Batania horse harness. Was that actually? Yeah, it's worse. Okay. Okay, you don't actually have a horse, so I can't give you a horse. Uh... All right. 
Nice. I got a little bit of money from this. Uh... Are they still sieging this? Are they building the siege camp? They are. Gauss castle is taken. Election started. Do you want to resolve the... Oh no, it will be automatically... Yeah, I want to resolve this. Yeah, dude, I need this. Your lord in voting. The ruler will vote in the end. We abstain. Uh, okay, I don't want to abstain. Oh. oh, I guess if Monchuk votes, then... <laughs> wow, wait, he just gave it to himself? He just gave himself the castle? Well, okay, I, gu I, I guess I get it. So how's the siege camp coming along? Oh, I think the siege camp is built. Yeah, siege camp looks built. Oh fuck my the the fuck my money. Uh, is this raided? I'm gonna try like special tactics. Fuck, this is raided. Let's go to Epinosa. Quick, 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 quick. Ooh, we made it. Okay, perfect. Click, click, click. Uh, I'm gonna keep the grapes and the beer. Thank you. Click, 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 click. Whew. Okay, we got some money back. Thanks, boys. I would be the bad guy, that is true. No, I would be the guy who's like clearly on the side of good, but everyone is like, he's a little weird, isn't he? He doesn't do this whole like honor thing. It's like, nope. Oh, oh shit, here comes an army. Help Ilatas army. Oh god, yeah, okay. Uh, this is gonna be a crazy big fight. This might destroy my computer. But we'll see how this goes. This is gonna be like 800 people on screen. Wait. Uh, okay, maybe not. This is gonna be the fight? Oh, the army didn't actually join in. Okay. The army didn't actually join in. That's interesting. Okay, I, I really don't want to be... Do I want to be on the horse, actually? Wow, look at my... Look at our archers doing... Getting those kills. This, those are my guys. Look at that. No, sorry. No, they're not. not. We got one kill so far. I'm just sitting on my horse, like a proper guy. Holy crap, this this bow is really quite nice. A little higher maybe? Well, I'm dealing damage. I haven't killed anybody yet, but I've, sh I've sure been dealing damage to them. Clyde Khan gate in level. Let's go closer! Off the horse. What was that about not getting kills? Hello, enemies? Oh, there's a archer man.
Archerman is like, what do I do? I'm just standing here eating arrows to the face. Da 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 da. How are the sieges in this one? They're really good, as you can see here. So, there's a lot of stuff happening here. There was one siege. This is like us sieging a town. We sieged a castle before. Oh fuck, I'm bad. I'm bad when low frame rate hits. Okay, and they're like... Oh, they're fleeing now! I'm right in the middle of them and they're fleeing! Where are you fleeing to? There's nowhere to go! Nice, we won the siege. We won the siege. My party actually got 32 kills, if you look at that. We lost two people. Two of our uh, of our horse riders, apparently. But yeah, we, my party got 32 kills. And we were only 42 people. We almost killed as many people as we brought. That is almost a 1.0 KDR. No, actually, my KDR is a lot better. We lost two people. We got eight wounded, so we lost two. That's like a 30. Well, that's like a 16 KDR? Anyway, more prisoners. Ah, oh, shit, I need horses. The hillman wants the hillman wants to join us. I don't think so, you bandit scum. Uh Cracked plated striped gauntlets. Better armor. I like it. Splintered ranged arrows. They do the same damage, but they have more shots. I'll be okay with that. Thank you. Well, seems that slowly but surely my companions are getting better equipment as well. Nice. Okay, we just got like a lot of stuff. So, Umbrella has been taken by an army of which you are a member. You are in his army. We want to leave this army. Okay, is he actually going after Lucon's army? Because I don't like that. I'm just leaving. I'm just like, bye. Okay, we ransom the prisoners for a nice amount of money, and then we're going to sell all that stuff. Uh, here we go. Click, click, uh, click, 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 click. There we go. Nice. We made a bit of money again. Perfect. So now we can survive for a little longer. Oh, what's going on here? Vote for the new on owner of Umbrella. Apparently, the Kurgits. Why do I always have to abstain? I don't get it. I guess because he just decides it? I guess he just decides it. So Mesui just gets this. That's so mean. Well, we're definitely winning this war. Which is interesting. We actually killed less men than they have, but we've been taking all of the stuff. Oh, right. Don't I need, like, some horses? Yeah, I need two horses. Bro. Horses. Oh, Valus is going to sleep. Good night, Valus. Have a good one. Thank you for being here. Oh look, we have 27 influence now. So like I said, I'm not actually 100% sure what you do with influence. I guess we can use our influence to do stuff with it. Bring forward to proposal to give this settlement to someone else. 
Oh, I see. That's 200 influence. Ah, okay. So I can actually just go like, hey, maybe someone else should have that. I guess it's because our influence is so tiny. I love how these dudes right here have a higher influence than the actual leader. Here's Mesui of the Kyrgyz. Yeah, I guess we just need to get a ton of influence. Propose to expel this clan. You use influence to propose policies and do other country-related stuff. Yeah. Sacred Majesty. Ruler clan earns 5 influence per day. Non-ruler clans lose 1 influence per day. Holy shit, okay. So we have like no... War tax. The ruler gains double influence from mercenaries. Non-ruler clans gain 10% less influence from battles. Bailiffs. Marshals. Armies led by tier 5 plus nobles require 10% less influence. I see. So this is more interesting when I have my own kingdom, I guess. What are you doing? You're not gonna get... Don't go into a fight. We don't have enough people. Do you see how many dudes that are? those are? Do not attack those men. Attack this guy right here. There you go. See, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Andros. His name is Andros as well. Wait, we're fighting in a village? Alright. I'm just telling everybody here. I don't know. Just, just charge. Just get in there. Just do your thing. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just ride around this orchard here. This would be super scary if you're actually doing that, riding on your horse with that. Hello. Where is everybody? I'm looking for the enemies. Oh, there they are. Buddy, are you fleeing? Oh, fuck, I think they're fleeing? I don't think they're actually, like, trying to fight us here. Wait, that guy is a, that guy's an enemy. Oh, is he down? He's down. Someone in there is an enemy. Or at least I think so. I'm not 100% sure yet. Okay, we won. I, I clearly knew where the enemy was and I absolutely knew what to do. Well, I mean, I got, I got 20 kills. Hey, my party killed more than everybody else, so... This is good. Good, I'll take it. Imperial Crossbowman? Crossbowman over Archer? Let's go Crossbowman. I always sort them by tier. Don't ask me why, it's just something that I that I do. Okay. This looks like some good stuff. Maybe I should actually give her a shield now. And maybe also a spear. There we go. Just so you know. This this fucking man. You know what, here, have some javelins, man, so you can throw something, I don't know. Nice. Lots of loot. Uh, and my guys are not doing so well. 
And I don't know what this guy is thinking here. Are they waiting for like another... Oh, they're waiting for Kanujan's army, are they? Kanujan, what are you doing? Besieging Atrion Castle. Aww. I love, I love how we have Imperials wanting to join us. Hey, Insomniac, how's it going? Okay, let's talk to Kanojan. He apparently has a problem. Oh, this is the whole Kuzai Kwangli thing. Okay, no, sorry, I can't, I can't help you with that. But I am gonna, I am gonna join your army now. There we go. Give them what they wanted. Traveling Gauss Castle to defend. Oh shit, we've got like a castle over there. Okay. Oh, my food. Five days. Might have to grab some food from somewhere at one point. Okay. Army you are in is dispersed. Okay. We're just splitting up at this point? Alright. Oh shit, there's Lucon's army. Lucon is coming! He's coming! wants to kill us all. Where's the food? There's the butter. Here's the grain. Buy some grain. Oh, don't end. I don't know. Let's buy some butter too. Don't want to have to worry about my food. Crew troops? No. So do we butter, Lord? Are you Kurgit this time? Um, yes. Uh, I'm a... Uh, Kuzite, and um, we have joined the Kuzite as well. Our clan is level 2. We are the Hogolians. I've been focusing on riding and bow with my character, which has been quite fun. Uh, so we've got like bow 71, which is good. Our riding is going up slowly but uh, steadily. Um, I love that riding gives you squires, which increases your party size. It's like, okay. Um, yeah, and like tactics and stuff like that. As you can see, we've got a couple of companions. And we have a decent party, although it could be bigger. We just haven't really been finding a lot of places to recruit from, sadly. Oh shit, is this happening? Oh yeah, this is happening. We're going in! We're going in, boys! Follow! I'm telling all of my guys to follow me for now. Because you know, clever swine picks his fights. On my flight! Oh, look at that. Enemy cavalry over there. We're gonna switch sides so we don't get caught by that. We're gonna use our own friendlies as cover. And that, I believe, is the enemy army. That on the left there is, might actually be the enemy general. Boys, I'm out. They coming. Telling the infantry to uh, move in. Telling the archers to just kind of stay here. I love how you can just kind of shoot into 
a big group like this? Mounted Arch! Mounted Arch! The Mounted Arch! Is this the... Is this the leader? I don't know, but the leader is clearly fighting the lady from my group. Did she actually get him? Is he down? Nice, Imperial Cataphract taken out. This is a nice big battle. We're doing this. I'm looking for enemies. I believe we won. Yes! Uh, I don't know. I have two quivers. I have like a lot of arrows. There you go. 53 kills and we lost a single nomad and one of my horse archers. Damn, 366 kills. We only lost two people and ten are wounded. Again you save our necks, Klykan. Truly, you are the best of friends. I know, man. I know. Look at all these prisoners. Can't wait to uh, take them into my uh, army. Maybe at some point, I don't know yet. Maybe some of them want to join me at some point. I mean, there's like some good men here. Mercenary swordsmen and stuff like that. I can fit them in here. I don't know if I can pay for them. I mean, maybe. All right, let's see. Any upgrades here? Yeah, looking good. Like I said, slowly but surely getting uh, better things from my companions. Slightly better armor and so on. Pay them with Clycanium? Oh, man, I'd love to. Clycanium would be awesome, but it's uh, it's not accepted. It's not accepted right now. First, what we have to do is we have to take over all of the world, and then we can make the one currency, which is going to be Clycanium. The one currency to rule them all, to devalue their previous currency, to destroy the housing market. All right, we got focus point. Oh, we leveled up in bow. Let's go. Uh... Wow. <laughs> what is this? Like, this is why I level up the bow, so I can get, like, more food from forests? Ah, game. What are you doing? 15% more accuracy on horseback, though. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Nice. And we've got the two focus points, so... Uh... Let's see. Uh, let's put him in medicine. I've been actually getting some decent medicine just from, you know, everybody getting wounded quite a bit. This guy has a quest. I think that's just the guy again who wants me to bring him those weird... Wait, I need to find what those actually are. Troops. Kuzite. Kuzite Kwangli. I need Kuzite Noble Sons for that. Where do you get Kuzite Noble Sons? They just exist. They're just a tier 2 horse archer unit that I guess you're just supposed to, like, get from villages or something like that. Nice. This village has 36 defenders. We have quite a few wounded. I kind of want to go back to... I kind of want to go back to town. And have my people rest there for a little bit. That sounds like a really good idea. That sounds like the kind of idea that a great leader, a fabulous tactician, an unmatchable strategician would come up with. Now here's my question. Do I ransom these guys? Or do I actually wait? No, I think I'll just wait for them to join me. Because that's actually some decent... Uzite Horse Archer requires War Horse. Okay. Did not know I even have War Horses, but I guess I do. Ransom. 
random mercenary swordsman joins me. Okay, I need three horses from the market. First, I sell all of these things that I don't care about. The sheep. Why did I sell the sheep? They keep us warm at night. Does the Midlands Palfrey count? I think it does. Yep, sure does. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna sell... No. I'm gonna sell those recruits, though. Because I don't really want to... That was the wrong button. It would be the wrong button if that wasn't part of my plan all along. You see, I was merely fainting when I said that I was going to keep those prisoners and put them into my army. Because I need to keep you guys sharp, right? You need to pay attention. So now, what that was, there was a peerless maneuver that we call a flank. So I just, like, flanked your expectations right there. That's, uh... That's how that works. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see. We have a lot of money. Um, we have a lot of money, and I can barely recruit stuff. Because there's barely anything there. Do I need better armor? I wish I could have a better horse. That is a better horse. Wait, how much riding do I... Do I have riding 60? Really? What horse would it give me? A step war horse. Nice, yeah, I'll take it. And then let's get some food and so on, too. Like some nicer food. Like a little bit. Get some of that variety in there. Yeah, I fooled you, didn't I? Like, you were like, oh man, yeah, he's keeping those prisoners, and then he just sells them. Just like that. One click. A single click to blow your mind. That's how that works here. Uh, let me take a quick look at... Yeah, okay, my companions need some... We're gonna wait here for a little bit, because my companions need a bit of their health back as well. And it's fine, we have enough money, so we can, like, spend the day in town. And just sell some of my guys. It's always nice. All right, I want to wait till everybody is uh, fit again. There we go. Cool. What about my companions? Well, these these two are at fifty percent. I'm all right. They can they can heal uh, while we're on the road again. Talking about on the road again. <clears throat> well, I gotta say we're we're clearly expanding the empire here. So let's see what the kingdom is uh, currently doing. Um. So we're still at war with the Northern Empire. Let's see what the armies... There is a single army. A single one. That is currently traveling to Baltican. So they're literally falling back at this point. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess what we can do is we can make some money and stuff like that from catching caravans? Because, I mean, they're enemy caravans, so... Let's go. They're gonna have some nice stuff for us to sell, get a bit more money. Bowman! Are they gonna do that thing where they stay away because they have a lot of... Yeah, they seem to. Follow me! Oh wait, did I just say archers? Yeah, no. Everyone, Everyone follow, me. follow me! There we go. Okay, we're gonna put the archers over there. And we're gonna put the infantry here. Because we are actually already shooting here. And then everybody else can kind of join me. And we can do like our big drive bys And then my game crashes, I guess. Is my game crashed? Hello? Oh no. Uh. Ah. Huh. Well, this is interesting. I, uh. Yup. My game just crashed. Ah.
Wait, did I even save? Does this game have autosaves? Did I even save once? Oh man. Damn, this is the real flank right here. Okay, give me a sec while I uh give me a real uh, a real real second right here while I restart this game. And uh and we find out what's um what's going on. Let's uh let's let's see where we are here. I want to say that uh, everything is fine, but uh oof. That's that's going to be a big oof from me, dog. Oof. Right now I'm just in the oof stage. If if this doesn't look good, we might move on to yikes. Okay, um let's see. Saved games. Here's an autosave from 1:22 a.m. That is apparently 16 minutes ago. Okay. So we lost 16 minutes. Did we, did we still finish that fight with a big army where we lost like two peeps? Akragora. We have the town. There's like a big fight over here. Okay, I don't remember any of this. Why why are we not helping these men? What are you doing? You have 400 people. Go over here. No, okay, we didn't actually do the fight. These guys are heading for Don Danos thingy. Okay, so we have to do the big fight again. If there even is going to be a big fight, we'll see. I uh I joined this army. Okay, so we didn't lose li out like too terrible. We have a lot of money, everything is fine, everyone is happy, everyone loves us. We we have prisoners, it's, it's, uh, everything is good in the world. So there's just probably going to be this big fight. I'm not quite sure why he has to go to his castle. I guess because the castle is being sieged. Oh right, and now the army is being dispersed, because that's what happened. Oh shit, okay. Oh, and I guess we're going to have to save this dude? Wait, wait, wait. There's other armies coming. There you go. And now he flees, but we capture him. And there you go. It's not quite the big battle we had earlier, but... Follow me! Damn, that was like the game just crashing like that. Holy crap. <laughs> I, guess, I guess a lot of you guys were also like, What? Game crashes? Peace, I'm out. <laughs> it's like, I'm not watching this shit anymore. This guy's an idiot. Yeah, I'm gonna take my archers, archers of horses with me here. I mean, early access. It's also it was just a lot of people. It can happen. The game was running for a couple hours and stuff like that. You know. Oh no, these guys have like actual horse armor and stuff. Oh right, I didn't level. So I don't have my 15% uh, archer re uh, accuracy from horseback. God, come on, let me just kill this guy. Ah, I hit your horse. Oh no. Don't hit me. I'm allowed to hit them. They're not allowed to hit me. That's how... Oh, oh is, that the, is that the leader? That is the leader. I want to kill... Oh, that's Lukon. That's the emperor. Oh, that's the leader. Yeah, I took out the leader. <laughs> I want to take him as prisoner. I demand. Imagine just like using your bow from like 20 centimeters of a man's head. Like just like that, like he's just like looking at you as you pull back on your bow and just unleash into his head from 20 centimeters away. Wait, I'm talking in centimeters. There might be Americans here. I mean, I mean you have to move 15 crow's feet away from his head 
Also, my horse apparently lost damage. Um, lost damage? Yeah, it got damage. Lost health. Did we win? We won! Oh, yeah. Okay, we didn't lose anybody this time. Okay. I don't know what a crow's foot is. Yeah, me neither, man. Look at that. We took out a guy. You are my prisoner now. Because we actually initiated the fight this time, so we took this guy prisoner. What about Lukor, though? Like, what about the actual, like, leader of the enemy faction? Apparently we did not get it, but we got this guy. So we can actually get a lot of money out of this guy, I believe. We're going to keep him as a prisoner for quite a while. And we got better armor, apparently. Yep, we, we got some better armor. That's kind of nice, actually. Uh... Okay. Everybody gets some better armor. Oh wait, you actually get a better horse too. Oh shit, does he actually... A sumter horse. We need to give him a saddle. Does he have like enough riding now for a sumter? Well, to be fair, no. No, he, he he was infantry guy. We said that. We said that he was going to be infantry guy. I wish fervently there would be a quest triggered when you murder like 20 horses where you get put on trial for animal abu abuse. I'm not... Was, was animal abuse like a thing back then? Was that... By the way, this is the save button. If I press this button, it creates a file that we can later on use a command on called load, which allows us to retain our progress. This may, this is a bit of a uh, thing that might come in handy later on. All right. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I don't have any horse. Oh, I do have horses. With me. That's nice. What about this dude? So I can talk to this dude, right? Come no closer. Forgive me, but one cannot be too cautious. I would ask you for your name. I'm Clay Khan. I'm not allowed to talk with you. I mean, you're not allowed to talk with me. You're my fucking prisoner. How are you not allowed to talk? Like, I'm the one who allows you anything. I'm the one who allows you to shit. If I tell you, don't take a shit, you don't go like, nah, I'm gonna take a shit, because you're my fucking prisoner. If you take a shit, and I say you're not taking a shit, I'm gonna kill you. I kill you! Yay, people want to join me. But I only take the good one. What the fuck is a watchman? Mercenary guard, okay. I mean, I guess he turns into a crossbow guy, that's kind of cool. Oh, look at these. Look at these poor villagers. I'm just gonna send the troop in. Yup. Yeah, they're dead. Yep, they, they they are dead. Nice. We're getting like slowly but surely we're getting more and more. We have 18 Kuzite Raiders at this point. We're getting slowly but surely better people. Twenty-one defenders in this village. They produce cotton. Uh, can I recruit troops here? Oh, they don't like me very much, do they? Um, I guess we can, like, sell some stuff here real quick. Like, take all their money. Wait, you will get a thousand? They only have a thousand? I want more than that. I canceled this. Do we just kill him? I feel like we're just gonna raid this village. Let's raid! All this cavalry, it sounds amazing. Ari gun the rain right. Oh no, she ran in there and uh, got taken out.
I deliver the damage. I'm the DHL of damage dealers. Fuck it. I know I'm ranged, man, but sometimes I gotta do this. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you go. I can hit people with a sword, too. Anyone left? Hello? No, we good. We got him. Didn't lose anybody, though. Just a couple of wounded. getting all these horses from I don't know damn I have a lot of I have a lot of prisoners I actually almost have as many prisoners as I have people you oh I'm over prisoner limit I was about to say oh damn I'm way over prisoner let's get rid of these recruits they're like useless they barely bring me any money go Ooh. there might actually be some nice upgrades here or might not quite sure why this was the battle that gave everybody upgrades seeing how i've been fighting actual soldiers instead of shitty militia but hey i'm not complaining so what do they actually make here do they make like flax or some shit like that what would what this village Apparently they're making nothing, because I'm raiding and I'm getting zero. Oh, cotton. Oh, they make cotton. Cotton is nice. Cotton usually sells for, like, a decent amount of money. Also, one of the things that I really like in this game is that when there's a war going on and lots of, like, fights are happening, you will see way more looters. Like, way more looters in way bigger groups, because they're, like, soldiers from armies and so on that ran away and survived the battles. Akram has created an army. Okay. At least someone does something here. Ur of the Beni Zilal is attacking me. Has 40 cavalry. Beni Zilal Royal Guard? What the fuck? Okay. Uh, well, this might be our end, so... Especially since we're fighting in a goddamn... Especially since we're fighting in a goddamn village. Which is, to be fair, kinda terrible for cavalry. Well, I'm pretty sure they still spawn them randomly, but they just in there's just more of them. Fuck me, man. No, this is a bad spot. Bad spot for little clikers. I'm just in the middle here. Die. I hack you. I hack at you with my sword. Oh, fuck. There's a, a thrower man who's on me. I, I might be losing this. Yeah, these guys have, uh, javelins. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, this, is, this, this might kill me. Oof. My poor horse. I mean, please don't fuck the horse. The horse does not like to be fucked, actually. The horse is, in fact, unfuckable. 
Oh, he came out of nowhere. Yeah, we out. We out. We're, we have one person left. We dead. We barely killed anybody. Holy crap. We barely killed anyone. This was a terrible place for us to fight because we were in the village. Fuck. We just lost. Luckily, we used the futuristic save function. Oh, what? That would be safe scumming. What the hell? I'm not safe scumming. It's terrible. Anyway, I actually think this is a great po time for us. I mean, once we escaped. Uh, for us to end the stream here, because that was over three hours of Bannerlord. We have gone from our humble beginnings as a little mercenary leader of a down-on-their-luck mercenary group to being part of the Kuzite Kingdom, having an army, having a lot of units, taking part in sieges, taking part in campaigns, and all that kind of stuff. I'm, what? I'm not giving you money. Like, being a prisoner means absolutely nothing. Anyway, um, like, being a, uh, a general at the front, taking part in big uh, sieges and big field battles, and bringing the fight to the enemy. And then, when we started raiding, we got taken by a superior force. So, well, to be fair, I wouldn't even say they were a superior force, but it was the, um, the field that we were fighting in was definitely not helpful for us. And so we became a prisoner of war. And now are waiting for the chance to escape, which hopefully comes soon. Maybe, maybe one of our friends will come help us? Rutwa the Scholar gained 7 skill points in two-handed and is now 10. Rutwa the Scholar won the tournament at Fusion. Really? Seriously? That's actually amazing. Vote for law speakers. Okay. All clans whose leader has high charm gain one influence per day. All clans whose leader has low charm lose one influence. I don't know how much charm I have. I think I have low charm. Yeah, I have low charm. I am, uh, uh... I oppose this. Oh, wait, I can oppose it with 20 influence? No, I just... Okay, whatever. Okay, it, 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 everyone wants that, apparently. So now I'm going to lose one influence a day. We'll see how that is. Anyway, we've got um, two focus points here, too. Oh, wait, I can't do that because I'm in prison. Okay. So, yeah, all of our companions, of course, are also gone. Um, they're now in all kinds of cities where we can find them. So, one of them was apparently in Fusion, where um, uh, he has won a tournament all of a sudden. He is a scholar and he wins a tournament. I remember him when we picked him up. He was an absolute shitter. Daily gold change, 100. Oh, I gain 100 gold per day from the king? How nice is that? And they even send it to me in my prison cell. That's so sweet. Alright, we finally managed to break free. Here's our party. It's Klai Khan. We're down on our luck. But we can, of course, prisoner at Misea. Okay, so two of them actually got away. Three of them are still prisoners. I believe you can actually try to break them out. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe we will try that next time. This is the part where we save. All right. Thank you all very, very much for watching. I hope you had a lot of fun.